Poof, I'm back. You guys are frustrated that there wasn't any RIP fan art? I was pissed too. Where's the RIP fan art? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Annoying. Thank you. Thanks, RC Grimes. Thanks, Sherlock and Red Raffy and Three Rip Mafia. Thanks, Bar None and God Knight and Winnie the Peepo. Thanks, Nervous Grouse and Tony Tadara. Thank and thanks, Egregious. <laughs> Thank you. And Panic at the Costco. Thanks. Just in time for some more Tekken. K Wiss! They got everyone but the two ribs. K Wiss is clutching that toy, dude. It feels great to be here, man, when the LCQ are winding down to the top eight. We've got a little thing to talk about. Yeah, look, I, I look, told you to stop playing with them dogs, look, man. This is, look, no, they're action figures, That's man. what I'm you talking about, I mean, bro. Right? Listen, we got these game dimension action figures here. i got Heihachi uh, over here. Heihachi's here. Got the ready, the round one. Uh, and yeah, they come and they have over. I, I don't want to grab them because they're kind of set up here. So I'm not no, going to touch this. Trust me, I, I've seen enough, I've seen enough yeah. actions in the past. Yeah, he'll get executed. Don't touch that shit. They're getting ready to fire your ass, too. <laughs> They will fire you. Those are action figures, but you can't touch them. Don't even think about touching them. You gotta keep them mint condition, dude. No action allowed. For supporting the Tekken World Tour the way they have and giving us something to play with. You, but know, what, you know what's crazy? I know the next drop is going to be Kazuya. Uh, no, uh, I think it's Jin and King. King yes. And it's crazy because I was talking to Steve at Versus Fighting. And I said, I want, we need Horang and Jin. He said, we need King and Armor King. So I feel like there were listeners that were going to take one of each. And that's, that's you how can, it ended up. You can't downplay him when it comes to the wrestling, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bro. You trying to calm him down. You know he loves us. Small stuff. talk. But look, man. Let's talk about this bracket. Let's get down to business. You know why we're here. If you're tuning into this part of the event, the tournament ain't even started yet. The tournament ain't even started yet. We got eight brothers about to do battle. Give us pure <laughs> eight <chaos>. brothers. <laughs> hey, this guy's all right. I mean, here's the thing. I don't think we've ever had an American win an LCQ. This guy's all right. I like him. 2017 onwards, but no, 2018 we had Galanda. 2019 was Palau. Last year we had Chikorin, John Ding, John, etc. Right? But I don't think an American we has ever won. We had Galanda twice. Yeah, he's a crowd fr favorite. Everyone likes Obama. His taste in beef jerky is very, very questionable. I mean, he went out of his way and gave no pants beef jerky that he wanted. No give this to Eris specifically. And it was like... Just regular ass gas station beef jerky. It made no sense. I appreciated the gesture a lot. And I thanked him. The gesture was so much better than the jerky. In fact, I think that's what I told him. That's exactly what I told him. The gesture... So much more appreciated than the jerky itself. That stuff sucked. But I mean, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's the thought that counts. That's nice. Damn! Why? What about... Richie. Doesn't that count as EEU? Does to me. But I'm going to hold off on that because we got Genghis Don who had a huge impactful performance mm -hmm. at Evolution this year. But that's Joe Clutch on one player's side, Ooh, man. We, like saw, we saw him do some damage. Hey, you were you first He's hand. You know. I've been seeing it for two days, days now. <laughs> two days straight. Sweet I'll chili Doritos? That's weird. Like oh, so beef like jerky flavored? <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. No. But people earlier were talking those Doritos up. I found out that pretty girls like them, so I like them now, too. Uh, the purple Doritos. I used to hate on them, but now I know better. Yeah, they're good. 
I feel like he's kind of controversial because of his play style and the way he, you know, he, he plays. Like yeah, Joe Crush looks like he slimmed stage. down a little bit. The thing that you cannot make an argument about is his performances on big yep. stages like yep. this. He steps up and steps up in big ways. Game is I eight. do not think a lot of people had Joe Clutch to be top eight no. winner side in this event. But here we are going up against Genghis, the Don. This one is of the top Katarina players in the world. Yeah, it should be one bad. Both these players, I would time. say, are Ooh, and like uh, and you know you're going top to in the country oh, level. Big, that's the big boy combo. Put some huge, threes on him. Huge damage there. Nice low parry there from Joe Crush. And a big mountain to climb on. But of course, that's an uneducated oh, perspective. I don't know who's good oh, now. But it seems like these guys always beat good players every time. Rotating around left side, right side, mm -hmm. trying to keep it get Joe Crush guessing. Whether he wants to bet on a down four two, whether he wants to bet on a jackhammer. They wait to pick up the Wooda. Oh, Harry a four with him. Hmm. Down the one. Nice back dash, but no reason to stop. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that shit would have hit me too, dude. These fucking scrubs be using wake up supers all the time, man. That. I never think they're going to do that shit in any fucking game, dude. I always think that. This guy, he can't be enough of a scrub to just fucking do a random ass super, right? They always are, and it always hits. Random ass wake up supers, dude. Genghis Stone's definitely controlling this round, but it could turn in a moment. Yeah, that's the thing. Jack has the reach, of course, but Katarina also at that range has quite a few threats. Ouch. Not huge counter hit launchers, uh, just a couple, but it's about the chip damage from yeah. these pokes, right? I mean, and the, good the, defense by Genghis. Nice Jack coming there. Going to do huge damage now. Guaranteed plot the season. Woo! Nice break there from Excellent Genghis Stone. You see what the 1-1 one, one goes mid? Damn, Damn patient. One, and we finish the string. Genghis Don evening up here. I, I can see this game being <laughs> Thank this Thank you. Thanks, hey, handsome. All the way through. No duck on the second hit there. Okay, nice. 1-1. One, one. Optimal hop kick punish. Oh, Ooh, big so punish. Great whip punish there from Genghis Don. Should take it to the wall. No clean walls, but though, it's still going to be huge damage. That's minus 50. Ooh. That's minus 50% just off the wall. Standing quick kick whip punish. And right away, Genghis Don, you see him just backing up. This is a lame-ass dude. Yeah. His thing is what we're seeing. Genghis Don move to the right a lot. Yeah. Well, and against Jack, you're going to be meeting... Uh, be in the down four two there is right there on, on the right, but Jack Hamill seeing a lot of that from Joe Crush because that's gonna be catching him if he doesn't time his side walk to the right, and that's the, that's the game you're playing right at that range. Yeah, and if he doesn't finish it, that was gonna be the round. Is Joe Crush gonna be able to bring this back? Jeez, no, down four. pressure. He probably wasn't anticipating it to hit, I yeah. guess. But here we go. Thanks, exceed. Thanks for all the subs and everything. All these low jabs, low strikes from and joining me. It would suck if I had to watch this shit without you. It's going to be very close. Joe Crush has a life. He now sides at one plus frame. Down back one. Harassing him right now. Then he's going to stuck in the corner. Damn, the other way around this time. Damn, he's just making a crazy ass comeback. Just like that, he's winning. That was like a 90% comeback. No big deal. Devil in a red dress. Two. 25 seconds. The big red machine. Ooh, that's pretty obvious. You gotta have the low parry ready for the debugger. That's the oh, you were on the other side. That was a gamer's A special. That's the gamer's A. When he, yo, when he's safe at the end, when he slides. That was flush, man. Low touches here on both sides. Chip damage adding up, even on health. These two playing very slow. Yeah. Very slow this round. Really just changing the pace again. Last round, game one. Couple of turtles. Far reaching low touch. Jab strings in the low from Genghis. Pushing with the fours. Oh, mm -mm, that's gonna hurt. Rage so. Ragey, Ragey. Ragey. Four, 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 and the forward one. Joe Crush taking the first game. Game, game one. one. Got some work to do. You can say whatever you want about how he plays, what the decisions he makes, whether he's Wi-Fi, whether he's Man, wired. why would you if tag me in stupid shit game like game that? Do you just want to be banned? Is that why you're doing that? I mean, Joe Crush over the past two days, the only players he's lost to is. I can't imagine a reason why you would tag me in a stupid comment like that and then hit enter, other than wanting to be permanently removed. With the jab, with the key. Hey, bro, I apologize real quick. Look, yo, last night I was trying to get them to run a bracket a little bit faster, get everybody out of here, listen. Bro, I was like, yo, we're going to have to run your I mean, it's like pointless. 
There's no reason for me to read that. You know? Why would I read that? He's been doing his thing, man, these past few days and again. Look at I just have sandwich stuff. I don't really know what I'm going to do about dinner. What are you having? I was just going to eat a sandwich. I had a little sandwich on the break, and I might do it again later. Yeah, I'm working overtime. I know, right? It doesn't feel like it. It's been easy. That car chase was a nice uh, change of pace. It was an exciting one. You missed out. Mexican casserole? What's that? Did you hear? Have you heard about uh, chilaquiles lasagna? You ever heard of that? You never heard of that either? Yeah, I know. You use chilaquiles instead of pasta and you put like sauce and whatnot, cheese melted between the layers. You cheese? Like level right now. Weird. God knows what kind of weird dicks this guy puts in his mouth. I understand that I, as someone who tastes cilantro in a very soapy and chemical way, I understand that it's my mouth that has the issue. I don't go, ew. You know? That's not how I do it out loud. Then I'd look like a dumb fuck like you. Uh, if you got a problem with cheese, that just means you something's wrong with you. You're probably a Tommy baby. It's a dysfunction. Like you have uh, irritable bowels or something. I agree that cheddar is better than American cheese, but I also think that all different types of cheese have their own application. There are some cases where I think American cheese is better than cheddar. For example, grilled cheese sandwich, or just generally speaking on a cheeseburger, American is better than cheddar, and I love cheddar. <coughs> I mean, it's not even something that is considered, like, even a gourmet chef would say that. Most people agree. If you disagree, that's fine. But like I said, you know, some people like dicks, some people don't. It's not a problem for me. It shouldn't be a problem for you. In fact... The fact that it's a problem for you that I don't like sucking dicks, that is an issue. Because I have no problem with you loving dicks. So it doesn't really, it's not balanced. You should also accept what I don't want and want in my mouth. It's going to be last game. Bring me advice immediately. Bring me advice. What kind of dressing you had on your sandwich? I didn't put any dressing on my sandwich. <laughs> Dressing? Yeah, that's what I thought. He's probably ESL. That's probably just what they call like mustard or some shit. You know? I'm sure that's the case. He's probably ESL. I didn't have any dressing, but I did eat peppers with my uh, sandwich. Yeah. Oh. What more can be said? But I mean, what more can be said? The fact that he's in 
Final game. He went the first attack and he had a good, you know, good, I guess, underwhelming performance there. But Summer Jam, he got They're praying. It's not enough. It's just like this tour is so competitive. Nature's mustard. Dutch crunch bread, of course, dude. Are you talking about Little Lucas? That shit's fucking crazy good, man. I remember one time, one time we went to Little Lucas. We went to NorCal, and then we went to Little Lucas right before we left. And I must have bought like eight sandwiches, dude. I bought like a whole fucking suitcase full of sandwiches, and I brought all of them home. I was eating sandwiches. My mom was like, <laughs> God, you know what? Bless her for putting up with me. I'm such a dumbass. But yeah, I remember that. That shit was fucking good. I ate sandwiches for weeks. Yeah, Strong Style, dude. I know. Strong Style was so fun every time. I would go to that in a heartbeat. Though I heard that. Maybe Bronson is moving away from NorCal, or maybe he already did. We're getting close to the end of this game. It's one one between these two. Keeping it close as you like it. Can't just come back. So maybe that's that. Yeah, strong style is always fun. That's why it's Joe Crush. That's why. He's putting that power crush out there. He's one of the only jacks that used one one as a punish as well, and it's so good. Can see why it is just there, and now one round of peace. I feel a final, final round coming on. One, one, two, no duck in the last hit. Oh, the oh, I drove. I didn't fly. You think I bought a bunch of NorCal sandwiches and then boarded an airplane? <laughs> the X-ray machine, <laughs> dude. This guy is suspicious. <laughs> Smuggling eight little Lucas Dutch Crunch sandwiches. Check those sandwiches. They're good. It's gonna be final round, dude. It always is. No way. New car chase? We got a car chase. Producer saying that the LAPD is saying that he he tried to or is trying to carjack uh, someone. So there he is. Car or not. But it he's like looking he's for another car. Yeah. I see running. Exactly. We can't like get a good shot. Here's the link I'm looking at. There, but um, you can't see him, so I make sure The link may not let you watch if you're ESL. No rips allowed. I, I, well, I. It's hard to tell what's going on, though. The cops are getting out of their cars. Oh, it's a better angle. We're going to see it's very hard. Air 7 HD is obviously overhead, but it's a very hard vantage point to take a look at exactly where... We can't see shit, dude. Who won, Joe Crush? Exactly. It started in South Los Angeles. There's police activity. It's difficult to see what's going on. ...domestic dispute situation. Um, apparently, according to our pro uh, producer right now, director, he is hopping fences through Whoa. these uh, congested streets. Uh, Whoa, he's hopping uh, fences. He's on the run. Closer together, there's a lot of places he could hide out. Yeah, and of course, you know, I think you had said it earlier, Alan, but, you know, if you do live in this area of South L.A., you definitely want to make sure that your windows and your doors are locked <laughs> because when people want to get away, they're going to mm -hmm. find the first, the closest uh, Dude. shelter, and it could be your home. So Shoot him. Area, I don't know Did you guys see that? I saw a video on the Internet of a guy of that was, like, reaching in through the mail slot to, like, uh, unlock the front door of a house. And the other guy just walked up to his arm with a baseball bat and full blown, like just broke his hand. That shit, oh man, that must be so satisfying, dude. That must be so satisfying. Just like completely destroying their hand, you know? That must be so satisfying. They got him. Damn, that was a quick car chase. Sleeping face. They got him. People said to me in the white name, I was thinking this guy to take it all is a 
he was the name that really jumped out to me as the best in Kenya, etc. But the main name I heard a lot was AK. Yeah, that's very satisfying. It must be. The way he, like, crushed his hand and then he looked through... <laughs> he looked through the people <laughs> to see the damage? That must have been, like, so satisfying, dude. <laughs> they got the graphic wrong. What about it? Oh, Genghis Dawn lost? <laughs> Are you calling them bigots? Hold up. Excuse me. Fixed. Wait a minute. Did they start a top eight with no losers? This is still wrong, right? No, no, no. Never mind. I read it wrong. <coughs> My bad. It's been a while since I've looked at a bracket. VDX. His pop-off was pretty good for his last win. He tried popping off and his legs were tied to the station and then he got fucking owned. Pretty good. He's very enthusiastic about Tekken. Thanks, Soul Flam. Thanks. Thanks, just got a house. Congrats. Thanks, self sucking dick. And Leon's law firm and Jonesy and one slice of pizza. Hmm, maybe two. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Plug Z plays. We got eight brothers. Gaming injury? Isn't that like a Yipes classic? Yipes like one Evo and then like was popping off and like broke his leg during the pop off. That's like been done years ago. F champs feed her? Yeah, but that wasn't a pop off. He lost. That was an excuse. One of the greatest excuses of all time. My feet hurt. And that's another thing too. The ranges that this character can play at is so yeah. Oh, speaking of ranges, Dalbo too. Yeah, Yipes is a legend. Everyone knows that though. I fifteen with us in the game. Oh my god, he's he's got the space stone, man. And I love his use of four four and master. Yipes literally tore his ACL. That's interesting. Isn't that usually what like uh football players and shit do? Man, Marvel gets hyped. Marvel gets crazy. <laughs> Tore his ACL playing Marvel. <laughs> Damn. Mm, thanks, Fruit Punch. Blowout. Mumbo sauce? I don't know what that is, man. It's weird that you think that I know what that is. What's mumbo sauce? Sounds like a slur. Excuse me. He's someone who I, I criticize a lot for being a bit of an overthinker. I mean, he thinks more than he plays the game. That's a, that's a crit. That's why I, I lord it over him. That's ESL cuisine? Could be. He's playing the game, man. It's time to play the game. Have at least some critics been silenced today? 
A lot have, I mean. <laughs> if you're looking at this topic, a lot have. Hey, make sure you guys leave a comment on this latest video. And please, subs- <laughs> and please subscribe. I can see the thumbnails for this thing and for the end I can, I can see the thumbnail pose as well. The open he's, mouth. He's, got, he's got to give us an open mouth on the other <laughs> exit real quick. But look, this is game two. AK all the way from the Philippines. He switched to Akuma. The chat room doesn't seem to like Akuma. Why don't you guys like Akuma? You're telling me you're not going to buy him when he comes out in Street Fighter 6? Crush in winner's final of this LCQ Top 8 for Tekken World Tour 23. Global final LCQ. No rip, no buy. Yeah, I'm with you on that. No rip, no buy. And again, I think Noctis, Noctis was a character who, like, early on, people were saying, this is a good, I think Kane and Trench, really popularized. This is a really good Akuma, uh, anti, uh, uh, anti thing. Tutu is really good at floating. Personally, I'm not a fan of Noctis as a, as a Akuma, uh, as a counter pick, but this is BDX's main. I haven't even seen, have they shown Akuma's gameplay in Street Fighter Six? No, right? I figured I would have seen that while taking a shit. Thank you. By now. No. Oh no, Ed is first? Good lord, dude. Ed? You're telling me there's no bison and they're putting that weak ass in and out burger employee Ed in? Weak. That's weak. Either way, nice punish there on the taxi. Yeah, the uppercut with the sword so cheap. Look at that wall damage. Oh, my chemical romance. The emo man. In spring? Damn, that's rough. In spring? I think that it's not that Street Fighter 6 is good or bad. I think that the fact that it launched at the same time as Diablo 4 is what really hurt it. Because overall, I think that that game is a really good package and a solid fighting game. But Diablo 4 came out on the, at the same time. And by the time everyone realized Diablo 4 sucks, they didn't give a fuck about anything. It, they're not going to go back and get re-hype about some shit that's already like not that hype anymore the launch was definitely hindered <laughs> thanks the man who framed rip oh shit the plot thickens dude who the fuck framed rip dude we need to find out who framed Rip? Rip is innocent, dude. Just like the Papa. Uh, thanks, Eco Sam and Slouchy. Thanks, Plugsy Plays and Fruit Punch and Data Dog and everyone. It couldn't have been Spaghetti Rip because he's he also got fired just because he's named Rip. So it couldn't have been Spaghetti Rip. He's got to be innocent. Thanks, Crispy Lays. You think it was Say Jam? Could have been. But what's the motive? Thanks, Cloud Pants. But it's not like Sejam got the job, right? So it couldn't have been him either. It doesn't make any sense. We should look at the people who replaced Rip. You know? That is where the answer lies. Obama, you think? You think Obama and like Posh and those guys conspired? Could be. Got rid of him? Framed him? Interesting theory. That's a, that's a wild swing 
though. That was a bit too ambitious there on the whip punish. Not gonna be dead with VDX in serious trouble. AK no meter though. I still haven't found out who Evil Eris is. But I will. I'll find out. Nice jump from AK. Takes the first round. Feeling good now and about to build a bar of meter. Dude, I know everybody watching from the Philippines is going crazy right now. For, for, for in range. And again, AK, someone large in that large. That's not even funny, dude. At least if you're gonna get banned for posting a big ASCII. Did you just time out the wrong guy too? Whatever. Collateral damage. That's not even funny. That's Shrek. Shrek sucks. That's ridiculous. Last time, dude, someone posted... It was like a dude with a huge boner and another guy butt-fucking him. And it was like detailed and it had shading and everything. It was fucking crazy, dude. It was like absurd. I couldn't believe it. Like, dude, this is some fucking artwork. And this loser came in here with Shrek, dude? You're gonna use that weak shit in here, dude? No dicks. No shading. Get it out of here, dude. Getting banned for Shrek. Weak ass ASCII art, dude. I banned that guy too, but still. The dicks. <laughs> that shit was crazy. <laughs> it was like a fucking mural, dude. Incredible. Man, FDX is getting fucked up all of a sudden, dude. I looked away for a second. Oh my god, that's it. Oh, not, not it. He did a weird combo. He did a weird combo. Come on, dude. Nice game, nice game. FDX is out of there. Damn. Yeah, I thought the low spear at the end was a little bit obvious. A little obvious. Nice game. Little sissy? Who? Are you serious, dude? Who are you talking about? Yeah, for sure. And I mean, man, talk about the losers side of this bracket. Do you got... I don't know, man. The thing is Junior is coming in hot with the insults. Hey, Junior, do you think you're still funny? I wonder if... I don't know. I can't... Um, confirm or deny. I don't know if you're still funny, but people have accused you of having the the dad debuff now. Too tired to be funny. See what I mean? The dad debuff. Damn, too tired? That sucks. Babies do make a lot of noise. And they need all kinds of stuff. Damn. <laughs> that sucks. Oh boy, <laughs> he's trying to get me to commit, dude? Look, you're going to need to throw in a little bit better than one wing, dude. What about the other wing, dude? You want me to fork over the dough for just one gin wing? Where's the other fucking wing? Just one? Come on, man. Worthless. Arcade tokens. I still have super arcade tokens. I still have golf land tokens. 
as well. You know, shouts to, to Banner and Namco Esports every season. They see it. You got the Twitter, you got uh, at Tekken, at B and &E Esports, and at B and &E Esports on YouTube. Can't beat me when I try. Advanced prototype. A mimetic poly alloy. Thanks, Dino Lane and NASA Mune and Eris, whatever, and Cloud Pants. Thanks. Thanks you guys for uh, tuning in from all over the world, wherever you're watching from, for the, again, Tekken World Tour 2023 Global Final here in New Orleans, Louisiana. I never thought I would be able to say that in a million years, by the way. Uh, this is the LCQ, and we're uh, we're going strong here. AK versus Joe Crush on winner's side. Just looking I would eat Crocodile, too. I heard Crocodile just tastes like chicken. Chicken and fish combined. I would try it. Checking with him on the short bit. We're going to go on a small break. Small break. Maybe I should take one too. Has it been an hour? It feels like it's only been like 35 or 40 minutes. Small break. Nature's chicken. I would eat. I would definitely try it. Crocodile. I'm sure it's good. I bet you the texture is like lobster. But maybe it's more like chicken than I think. Gamey chicken? That doesn't sound good. I'm not into the whole gamey meat. Like, you know, if lamb is prepared poorly, I find it to be not good and I love lamb. Any tips for growing a beard for you? You might ask Giuna. He might be able to hook you up with a good doctor and they'll do some shit. They'll hook you up. For you, I think you're going to need science. An intervention is necessary. Because I don't think that shit's going to grow. You see what I mean? So, oh yeah, maybe you might look into... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's what I would recommend. You got this, man. Any tips? I'm on break, dude. <clears throat> you know what's insane? I have never once, not even a single hair between my eyebrows have I ever plucked or shaved or anything. Ever. Not even once. Can you believe that? It's outrageous, right? I can't believe it. But it's true. I have a uni, uni everything. Except for right here. Never once. I still have like baby hairs here. Like no real hairs. It's really weird. I got lucky. Anyway, I'm going to get up and stretch. <clears throat> I'm going to get up and do a little quick stretch. I'll be back. I might be a little late, but I'll be around. I'm in it for the long haul. I could do the whole thing. You guys didn't believe. Remember, you fucking scrubs? They were like, oh, you're only going to make it two hours or whatever. Psh, easily. Six hours, 35 minutes, and still, still going. Strong. It's a nine. Uh, two two months short of nine years old. That's Lightning <laughs> and shit. And Poof! Bruh, what did I miss? Did I miss the action like figure that. promo? Oh man! Did they frame Rip again? That's all they do. They did. This is bullshit, dude. Framing Rip left and right. He's innocent, dude. First the Papa and now Rip. What what next? Any one of us could be framed next. Hey, thanks, Rassler. Thanks, Secret Slainta. Thanks, Sperm Bank Robber. And two hot dogs all the way. Kane the guy. Thanks, guys. This is Europe versus US. Uh, Grand Kintaro versus Ao Richie. Ao Richie is a dangerous Tekken player. He's good. Finals last weekend. He, the way he played and the way he was shown, he was mentally 
If we were just going by hairlines, I would root for Richie. But because we're talking America here, I have to go with Grand Kintaro. USA. Give it to him. I don't know his name. Excuse me. Give it to him. <laughs> wow, out to Ur. Nice jab. Wall's gonna break, right? Yep. Other wall. Oh my god, that is a nice combo. Let's go, Justin. Let's go, Justin. Ooh, my. That was sick. That was sick. She gets a fucking launching armor move. Man, Harada be smoking reefer, dude. And she's in part eight. Great. Uh oh, position change and combo. Ouch. Miracle time. Miracle time. Oh, you can't do that. Man, this is some online. That's some online decision making right there. That was terrible. Ouch. Richie is also a sharp player, you know? He's not going to fall for that kind of slow ass shit, dude. Man. Oh, nice placement. Two rounds to one. Pokes. The pokes. Woo! Oh! That was butt ugly, dude. Richie's gonna... He's gonna make you pay for that mistake. Wow. Damn. This Englishman is flabbergasted there. Ugh. Oof. The offense! Oh my god. Yeah, the wall. Big mix up here. Wow, he tried to punch. Oh, low parry. This is so big. The wall is fucking things up. That got weird. The wall kind of fucked things up there. Wow. Punch parry? Punch parry? Against Zafina? Weird decision. Hey, there's Joka. What the hell? They let Richie have a coach, but they didn't let the other guy have a coach? Did you see that? I bet you the other guy had the word rip in his name. That's probably what it was. Escort this man out the building. Get him out of here. No rips allowed. Hey, thanks, Kerbal Goop and Lowrider and Tomb Mold and John Nelson owes Rick the 50 bucks. <laughs> John Nelson. Oh, fuck. John Nelson owes. Damn, dude. That is such an OG name. John Nelson. I wonder who else he owes money to. He's a guy that kind of like partnered with other people to run tournaments a while ago and then he disappeared off the face of the earth he don't owe me money i'll tell you that that's for sure <laughs> thank you 
Jedi Rob did, but I got my money back. I got my money. His first game is normally his worst game. You know, that second, I can see that. That second see that. game is normally where he really starts to turn up. So are we going to see that now? Or is GK going to take this one and move forward in the losing bracket? Triforce, the legend. Okay. Nice. Low party there from Richie. Is he going to break? Yes, he is. Still has his tailspin as well. Doesn't get suspended, unfortunately. Oh, the backdash. Put a backdash out of range to KK low. Not the best CD1 though. with the wall standing forward. Nothing behind it. Full crowd sweep. Now for whip in there. GK, can he still has rage? Big whip down for nice work there. There it is. See, one thing we're seeing as well. There it is. Richie's giving GK a lot of time in Scarecrow. <laughs> That's what that Scarecrow Thank you. Weird. There's a bit of patience there from Richie. Block the Scarecrow for the power crush and then launch him forward. Like you said, that first game, I mean, I think the nice. two rounds were defined by that Scarecrow yeah. for. But also, Richie... Damn! Say word? Just like that? Perfect? Oh, that looked like a counter hit. Who we'll punished that? Mix up. Oh, no. Oh, wow, armor. One round. Frames on block. Yeah, I feel overall he's had a really, really strong preference towards Scarecrow stance pressure. Nice. Runs right into an uppercut though. Richie is so This is probably one of the more aggressive Zafina players that you're gonna see. He's really mix up heavy. Maybe his defense is not like in his mind his strong point. Because every time Richie gets aggressive, he wins. Thanks, Brit. Have you know? Good. That's one thing I'm, I really like in general about just the communities. When you see players, just listen. I'm here to support. Here to help. Very simple way. And Joe Crow, he doesn't have to do this. He's one of my. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't Richie just win and he got a coach? What is up with that? When the other guy won, they kicked his coach off the stage. When Richie won, his coach was allowed on stage. Dude, suspicious shit, man. I'm just saying, there's some suspicious shit going on. This is the final game. We love Rip around here. <laughs> I know I'm going to laugh about that shit later. <laughs> We've always loved Rip. All right. Just to establish the mental frames, yeah. and then when Richie finally tries to challenge, he gets launched for it. And now he's in the corner. Damn. Damn. Perfect. Flawless. Oh, the second hit, one plus two, four, just whipping there. Richie catching a bit of life. Nice block on the down three. Block three. Trying to seal the step there. The back step. Oh, counter hit. He's going to get launched here and take it to the wall. Yeah, that's cheap. That's a lot of damage. Oh, man. Missed opportunity like crazy. But still. God damn, dude. Five or six lows in a row? Dude, Kentaro. He's looking pretty good right now. Richie's last chance. See, Richie gets aggressive and he wins. But it's riskier. Oh, all right. Impressive low parry. Uh oh, not again. Armor launcher, sidewall miracle. Punish. Oh god, the cameraman. Oh my god. Sold a mage. Blood Valdo map for 125 divs. Nice, man. I'm thinking of playing solo self found. I don't have a build in mind yet, but. 
<coughs> this league made me realize that I don't like trade league. I think I like solo cell found more. I think I always suspected that would be the case, but remember I found that mirror. And that the action of finding that mirror is what ended up putting me on trade league. But my original instinct was solo. It's going to be a final game, dude. Final, final round. Caustic Arrow? I don't like bow builds, dude. But, I don't know. I'll look into it. I'll shop around. I'll probably start an SSF run. I definitely know enough about crafting now to craft everything I need. I made really good stuff now. Under my belt. Penance brand is insane. If you got good recommendations for me, send it to my Twitter. Let me get the POB, dude. I can't believe how close these matches get sometimes. It's like it's uh, like scripted. Oh my god, scripted shit, dude! Scripted shit. Damn! Everyone is hyping him up. That was a miracle. He was like, he had like one point. He had like one point. Yo, is he crying? <laughs> you crying, man? Good games, good games. Grand Kintaro fought hard. That was bullshit. The perfect rage art. He had no health left. That was crazy. Yeah, he did it a couple times. That's that's something he do then. He did it against what's his name too, remember? Uh, didn't he do it against uh, that Katarina player too? Maybe that's one of his specialties. The EU Rage Art. Thanks, Blue Frost, for the sub. Appreciate you guys joining me. It would have sucked if I had to watch this alone. It's way more fun making jokes about how much we love Rip when there's other people who can corroborate my story. No one would believe me if it was just me. So that's going to be an interesting game. But we, we put that one in the back burner for now. We forget about that for a minute. Yeah, we still got this infested from Korea versus Thai dollar sign from America. <laughs> Thai dollar sign? Out this first round of losers in this top eight. Winner gonna be it's going to be FDX versus A.O. Richie. That's a, this is an interesting game. Because I was speaking to Thai. That'll be fun. About this, and I was like... I was like, so who you playing next? FDX's pop-off was pretty good. I didn't believe you that it was going to be that good, but it was pretty good. If you haven't seen the clip, you should check it out. <laughs> Gets fucking jujitsu tossed by the PlayStation console. Ty reminds me of the mom from that show about burgers that cartoon about burgers he takes it all the way to the top eight but like this is a different beast right now infested the silent killer the silent assassin he has just been quietly working his way through this top eight and here he is now there's a class of player i think especially from the united states where negan he's actually what a weird ass game i'd say year negan from walking dead a bear, Akuma, Geese Howard, and Noctis from Final Fantasy. Infested, huh? I'm rooting for Ty, obviously. USA. Nice combo. Yeah, 
interesting character as well. I think he's just poking, simple game, good punishment, very strong fundamentals again. X, that's a that's an I twelve punish there. Yeah, that's I was about to say that, especially like under thirty frames. Mm. High value punish good. One two looking for something. One two four, very nice work there from the Fessy baiting him. Hmm. One two again. He's the kind of player plays around down. Nice. Jazz. Oh. oh! <laughs> wow, that's crazy. That was sick. Excuse me. I mean, the only thing he could have done to stay alive. Vulcan cannon. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Damn. Ty didn't like that shit for a second. Damn, he didn't like that shit for a second. This is going to be a full kill. Oh, nice combo, Pandejo. He's going to come back. <laughs> oh, no. Don't do it. Raw intimidation. Raw intimidation. Ty not biting. Oh, that could have been it. That looked, that was close. That was only inches from hitting. Less than that. Thank you. Too slow. There you go. Jet uppercut. Not gonna be a launch, but still nice hmm. damage, great range. See Ty trying to set up these plus frames off these jabs. We need some loads. Tea back. Right oh, big count here. Ty Give it to him. Forward, forward, two to end it. Ty, one final one thing. And the here's the thing game. for Ty, too. You can take these first two. All of a sudden, start to build some comfort, build yeah. some confidence. You're on home turf, essentially, here. I mean, that's everything, confidence. And we've seen it from the players who've done well today. Joe Crush, VDX. It's just that confidence, Ty. Time to join them. Oh, I'm glad I remembered to ask you. What time do you think I should stream tomorrow? Tomorrow is the first day of the actual World Tour Finals. I don't really know what the schedule is. Do you guys have a recommendation? Morning. It's supposed to start pretty early, but... I streamed early today and that shit was easy. <laughs> Maybe I'll order some food tomorrow. Exactly what we expect, the kind of action we expect for the final After lunch? This is chaos. Chaos in this bracket. Thank you. Step in low, so much return. It's supposed to start at like 9 a.m. My time. And they're not doing the whole tournament. They're doing like a round robin. And then they're going down to top eight and then on sunday they're gonna do some weird circle jerk and then they're gonna do top eight oh oh nice fucking taunt he got it though nice wow that was close he almost fucked up there round robin sucks it hella fucking sucks, dude. It is so shitty. <laughs> it's so shitty every time. No one fucking likes it. I just, I kind of imagine a lot of people are surprised by that, but I mean, I think looking at this at onset, knowing this guy and how well traveled he is, but I mean, <coughs> who cares? <coughs> It'll be fun to make fun of. Thank you. He's going to the left. Brian's weak side is mm, thanks. Hey, Rosemi. How's it going? Thanks. Seeing if I go to the left, go to Hatchet's weak side, expecting it to come. Happy New Year. And doing good work with it as well. And I think he's sticking with the Negan as well. Saw Negan. I mean, if, any, if you want anyone to give you advice on how to play against Brian. Mm, thanks, Machine happens. Slave and Mr. And Jeff Goldblum. Dirty Gooch. Thanks, guys. Negan's like introduction, like Brian was on his side or something. I remember, like, in the Negan, in the first ever, like, teaser for Negan, I think Brian was in the kind of, like, All the Rosemi fans coming out. You watched The Walking Dead? No. Thanks again. <laughs> Thanks, Warm Stool. You, were you excited with... with, with uh, yeah, I, 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 I know, know I was. I when know. I saw the Negan, I, was, I went crazy because it made no sense to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very good. Nice save. Nice save. Good stuff. Nice punish there in the wild side. It's four again. The Negan now on this infinite stage. Nice, we're punished there. One, two, four again. Negan's like micro punishment, so good. You get a lot of damage. One, yeah. two, four. Huge 
Spray Ted Punch. That's the thing, man. The Jack Spray Punch. Woo! Make it count, dude. Do something good and then wake his ass up with something good. And this is where Fed's going to be looking for the Nice. Very nice. Because if he follows up with a race drive, it's going to be the rounds. He's just looking for he's looking for it right now. 12 seconds left to go down for. Mm -mm. 10 seconds. Oh my god. He used it. 3 seconds. Now he could just do a super, can he? He didn't even use it. Oh, wait a minute. F a super freezes the clock, so he didn't want to do a super. Big punish. Just the tiny move was seen from Fetch with the sidestep duck. He's feeling very, very much. And Brazil is hungry, man. The minus 60%, just like that on three touches. God damn. Should the chip damage adding up here? Dude, he's bullying. He's bullying his ass now. Bullying. Full control. Thank you. Let's let's see how this one plays out first. We'll get to that. Because Negan, I think Negan has the best male movement in the game. Uh, he's like one of the only that can sidestep Jesus back through to, you know, to the right. His 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 movement to the right, very good. Excellent punch on the hatchet there. Oh, count Shove the intimidation. Yeah. Grab. Man, Infested is uh, looking really confident, like he's unstoppable all of a sudden. Did you notice that? <laughs> He's looking like uh, he's very confident. Confidence. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Kill him! I was gonna say not again. That was close. Oh. I think that this game, he should already start thinking about how he's going to... Uh-oh. Miracle. Holy shit. He could steal it, dude. This is so important. I think if Ty loses this round, he can't beat Infested. He needs to do something stupid. He missed a taunt jet upper there. And now it's going to cost him. 50%. Over 50%. Yeah. But there's lots of time to make this comeback. He can't be patient if he wants to. Oof. This has been a wicked condition for Ty so far. In rage. Oh my my, it's close. It's close. My my my, it's very close. Anyone's game. The person with the biggest balls will win. How big? Ten seconds. Oh, last chance, Ty. One more. One more. It worked. Oh, it would have hit. Oh, man. That was robbery. That was so close. That could have whiffed. That move, sometimes it makes down jabs whiff. That was... Infested got lucky. That's what that was. And I think he knows it. I think that that punch could have whiffed and he could have gotten kicked. If, he blocks it, if it were a little bit further away, he could have kicked him. Again, I think Ty is letting these rounds uh, dwindle down more than he has to. I think he needs to start pushing the pace a bit earlier. You know, I did say with 40 seconds left. This is it. Two games. I claim that if he... If you let Infested come back, he wouldn't win. And that's still what I predict. Infested is playing in a really, like, dominant way. He's, like, pissing on him, you know? Showing him who's the boss. 
whoever gets the launch should carry to the wall, opponents back to the wall. There's a lot that goes from there. But it's about what happens in the middle of the stage that defines what happens at the end. So here we go. Yeah, walls. Walls is definitely going to be a factor, but... I don't know about that, man. I think that the way Infested was playing was spooky. It's like a really good, really confident. When someone's that confident, it's very difficult to like uh, stop them. You really got to push their shit in to kind of waver that... It's unwavering, dude. To convince them that they're not as sick as they think they are. It's a good round so far for Ty. Infested's defense is really good. It's like he's always blocking. Not that time, though. Nice combo. It's going to go final round. They're like coaching him, but he can't hear. Can he hear? Maybe he can. Wow, nice. This should kill. Oh my god, dude. If you lose the round, dude. What the fuck was that weak shit, dude? That combo sucked a cocky. What the fuck are these pros? These guys are pros. He's up around. Uh-oh, not good. Side. Jesus. Bullied. Get out of there, Ty. Oh my god, it's over. Final round. Final round. Final round. Don't let him do it to you, Ty. Don't let him do it. Wow, he was ducking. Thank you. Woo! So close. Oh! Oh, these guys are both fucking scrubs, dude! What the fuck? These guys are both scrubs! What the fuck, dude? Oh! Now drop the combo! I don't know if this is it. He killed him. I can't believe that match. These guys are scrubs. Game winning combos get dropped all day. Infested is so pissed. I can't believe that. Wow. That was a pretty wild ending. Scratching his head. Yeah, uh, it was a giant fucking mistake. Catastrophic error. To be fair, Ty dropped a shitload of combos this set. But Infested dropped the biggest one. Damn, dude. Majin Obama trying to teach this Englishman the national anthem and shit? Hey, sing that shit or else. <laughs> Stand up and sing that shit, bitch. I like that. Tell him, Majin Obama. Tell him to sing that shit.
the topics of this LC Yeah, that got crazy at the end. I'm nice. USA. Nice clutch. Clutched it out. Yeah, they're going to finish the whole tournament today. This is not... This is the last chance qualifier to get the final available slot in the World Tour Finals, which starts tomorrow. This is like how they've done it every time. They always leave one final spot open for the, la the LCQ that they always hold the day before. So it starts tomorrow. And then top eight is on Sunday. I'm going to stream tomorrow and Sunday, but I just don't know what time. I haven't decided. But I will be back tomorrow. I'm assuming that I'll probably watch some of the round robin and then decide at that point. Depends on when I wake up and if it's... It really depends. I don't know when it's scheduled to end. If it's similar to this, I could do the whole thing. I mean, today I did just about, almost. But we'll see. Oh yeah, we're excited about the FDX pop off. He always brings the heat. I never noticed his his glasses being as thick as they are. They are really thick. It's like they're warping space and time around them. They have a vacuum. That's crazy. You got to appreciate those little things, man. Perfect 50-50 vision. Full head of hair. Not that hair ever did anyone any favors anyway. I'm obviously rooting for FDX. Punish. Doskoi. Clean. Yeah, I'm excited about FDX's pop off too. Thank you. So being able to contest that space with a far reach and safe, damaging, confirmable option like that is really, really strong. Out of range. They're both doing that with lows. Their lows have been just out of range. Desperation. Thanks, Aniki. Thanks, hey, Attila Bosma. What's up, dude? Happy Big Friday and New Year. So far, 2024 has been pretty good. Just as I suspected it would be. I heard good things. Yeah, not bad, right? Good for who? Everyone who's not a little bitch, so you're out of luck. But the rest of us... Maybe, hey, better luck 2025 might be your year. Wow. Double roll? Wow. FDX. Bring in the heat. You lost your job in 2024? Is that you, Rip? We've been trying to fight for you. All day. We have been, dude. Protesting. Damn. Lost my job. Thanks, gas station rip. 
I feel like that's a little offensive, dude. Why they gotta be called gas station rip for? I don't like that name. This thing I'm doing with my face? <laughs> Forget that. <laughs> don't let that fool you. <laughs> I don't like it one bit. All right? And that's that. These two taking this one so slow, but nice life for BDX. Richie really got to let some low spy right now. No, would you shut up? Thanks, Tiger Bomb. Oh, he tried it. He tried the desperation backswing. God, this character is fucking stupid. Uh, but I'm still rooting for FDX just because of the whole USA thing. But I'm a Richie fan as well. Thank you. So I think what I think it just depends. You know, you've got to be able to read your opponent. Thanks, Madsley. Very simple thing to say when it comes to second, but it's like, you know, I think VDX has been keeping it very simple, especially with a huge life lead like that. There's no read from to take a risk like with a down four two or something, just two two, keep it safe, because even if it whiffs, you're not going to get punished huge for it. So, but again, Joker stepping up, talking to Richie, gives him advice. And I mentioned it earlier, Richie's first game is normally his worst game. Yeah, you said that, you did say that earlier. And that's, so, I, I mean, the way it played out, too. <laughs> it was, it's true. Thank so, you. Thanks, Andrews. Talking about Noctis is two two. It's gonna. Re it's kind of reminiscent of that in some ways of like we're gonna see another attack. We're gonna see a lot. Of oh damn! He's listening to music. He's jamming. Damn! He's jamming. But it's really easy to just run into them, and all of a sudden you're just giving this character free damage. You can't do that. All right, that's it. You cannot like afford that. So getting into this match, I mean, PDX, someone I would not be surprised to see him run this one all the way from the way he's playing. But Richie as well. This guy made the decision to come to LCQ a bit late. But clearly, like, this is it. Well, I mean, it's not it. But FDX is up a game. Third place did not play his best, but in spite of that, played so well. Third place out of three. Third place out of three and against, against the wow. best in the world. Oh, yeah. Shadow and how, I mean, in long sense. Yeah. Ooh. It's a fortitude to play that kind of situation. New tactic? Yeah. Beat down. Dude, yeah, this round's looking pretty bad. Weird. No duck. Oh! Nice. He was ready for that stupid roll after the sword whiff. That was nice. Thanks, Rips Unemployment Check. I wonder if you get unemployment if you are a contract worker. I don't think you do. Maybe you do. I don't know. And like, and these two keeping this one. I haven't been on unemployment in a long time. And again, like you said, Richie looking very comfortable with his face. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> Thank you. It plays like this. Hmm. Hard duck there, looking for something. Even for cards. <laughs> <There's the big laughs> Thank you. To do. Thanks, Richie Danny boy. And no, schizo. Nice downfall while standing for goes mid second hit. Richie two rounds straight right now. You don't eat? Nice typo. Makes you sound Italian. You don't You don't Nice typo. Obrazenia? You don't Oh my god. FDX falling asleep at the wheel, dude. 1-1. One, one. Rigged. Who's this little guy? Giving uh, FDX advice. <laughs> In my head, kind of tones like, "Yo, we hungry. We about to go get some meat." <laughs> FDX, all right, dude. Like, can you hurry up? Please, like. FDX is vigorously text messaging. Like, yo, we gonna get some Wonder what that's about. Nah, man, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Excuse me. Oh, you think he's changing the track? So I guess that's true. But his headphones are plugged into the console. Oh, you think he has headphones underneath the headphones? Double headphones? He's getting live advice from Evil Heirs? 
Oh shit. Wonder how much that cost him. Probably a pretty penny. Evil Eris isn't cheap. These two are just gonna be born brain zero. <laughs> Thank you. Two two gets nothing but even alive to four four two. Down one nice block from Richie, yeah. good punish too. The big thing too is the life lead and the way the role that that's gonna play in four. Thanks, obviously, Sonan. Uppercut out of nowhere from Richie. I have no idea, like, I don't know the read he has. He's just so good at placing that down four two. It's uh, it's, it's like that Anakin gift, right? Where they just have that, <laughs> in, that immaculate set of diamonds. So close. You like, you can't analyze it. Like, how do you yeah, I'll probably look up some really fun build, SSF build, and do that. Start an SSF run. The last few days I've been playing D2. New Prince of Persia game turned out to be pretty good. Hey, what's up, guy who made the new shitty Prince of Persia game? How are sales going? The first time we've seen yeah, they that go, they go that far. And Pretty good. Pull it out. Yeah, to secure around like that, that's a good time. Hey, you didn't have to shoot that guy. Did you get? Did you shoot him or someone different? Not good enough. I haven't heard anything good about it, other than from you, the most reliable source of all, random paid shill. Richie stayed down the patience. One, two. One, two again. Nice block from BDX. No punish, but delays the low. Set point now for BDX. BDX here threatening to send the sole UK representative in this LTQ bracket home. And it misses for a spot and loses semi final, I believe. So. Big and a big but trade it's, there. Yeah, it's, the trades are always in his favor. What am I going to have for a big dinner? Man, I really don't know. I kind of don't want to order anything because I have some random sandwich related shit that's tasty enough. And I like to eat things when they're fresh. So maybe I'll do that. I'll do sandwich. Damn! Jerking two dicks fiercely. Man, this guy is a giant. Um, uh, Richie. Let's see the pop off, dude. This is where you gotta do it. You're not gonna go get on your knees or some shit. Damn, kiss your friend. Good game, good game. Pork belly. Well, sorry guys, I, I didn't perform as well. You know, I, I, he uses I, double I, I, headphones, so he listens to music and in-game sound at the same time. That's fucking weird. How many ears does he have? Take control of it in the second game, but when second went back to the infinite stage like that, again we talked about it, right? When you're Noctis and you have the benefit of being able to four ears and four eyes, the guy should be the guy's cheating. That's fucked up. That's bullshit. We gotta do something. He's a cyborg. <laughs> you think Obama is drunk? Yes? You really think so? I wasn't gonna. Let me look at him again. I wasn't gonna. I didn't suspect him. Let's see. Let me just make sure that my tell is correct. <laughs> no, no, he's not slurring. He's speaking very clearly, and you wouldn't know. But. Ah, oh, they didn't show him again.
I mean, so many of these players are familiar with each other, and they've been grinding with each other for, I mean, throughout the pandemic, yeah. well before that as well. But here you go. Ty, trying to make a, trying to put a big stamp on his resume with this event. He's going to have to go over Genghis Khan. You guys are rooting for Ty or Genghis? Ty's character says. I think he keeps with the Brian. I think Rip resigned? You think they caught Rip via drug testing? Oh, shit. Damn, this story is getting deep. Rip got drug tested, and they caught him with fentanyl in his system. And that's firmly against... Wait a minute, but that doesn't add up. How does Steve get around that then? See, I knew that couldn't be true. You're just making shit up, dude. Steve is clean? Yeah, sure he is. And I'm Miles Davis, dude. So what is your opening here? Genghis Don, right away with the mid safe mid strikes. Where's my saxophone? Or whatever that thing is. Nice block there. Immediately ready for the the jab one four, yeah. Hatchet. Lots of sunglasses off. Making taquitos? Dude, I've been having fresh gawk. <laughs> You're eating taquitos with fresh gawk? <laughs> mm. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I was going to say, man, I've been really feeling like taquitos lately, but then I read that last typo, and could, I had to change my mind on what I was going to focus on there. Gawk. <laughs> it's not bad. Hey, you know, did you notice you guys have been pretty funny today? With all that, we always liked rip shit, and now this fresh gawk. Not bad. You guys have been on one. Nice work. Good shit. You're not always this funny, so that's why when you are, I want to really highlight it and appreciate it. Usually you guys are fucking whack every time. But you brought some heat today. Streaming for eight hours wore me down. That's true. In this state of mind, I would laugh at just about anything. However, still, I don't think you're capable of making it happen. You gotta bring your A game. This match is way more sleeping face because they're both Americans. I should probably stretch now. What do you think the next match is? I should go get up and stretch. I don't give a fuck about this match. I mean, I want Ty to win because Katarina is so boring to watch. And Ty likes to drop key combos, which is not boring to watch. I love watching alleged pros drop combos constantly. Makes me feel good. Katarina sleeping face. Thanks, Rex. Thanks, Diagera, for the tier two. And Toad. And Mike on the moon and Grummies. Thanks, bros. I think I'm going to get up and stretch. I don't know if it's been an hour, but I feel like taking a whiz and stretching my dancer's legs. So I'm going to do that. Coaching sucks. It sucks that randomly they won't allow it. That part is weird. I think coaching fucking sucks too. What's the point? They should ban it. Coaching sucks. I agree with you. It's fucking stupid. It shouldn't be allowed. I mean, what does it add to the whole situation? It's for pussies? It sucks. I mean, it's it doesn't add anything and it takes away from... 
I say we get two things need to be changed before we can pre-order Tekken 8. We need rip back and we need coaching banned. Those two things need to happen. Bring back rip or else. No rip, no buy. I'll be back. Very simple one. This is Jack. Be cool. Again, willing to just go 1-1-1. One, one, one. He hasn't shown the 1-1-2 one, one, yet mm. against Ty. We'll just keep it mid. Not Ty's been so good at delaying the second of the down 4-2-3, man. He's yeah. probably had 100% success rate yeah. in this top eight. And now goes for a taunt. Nice patience there from Genghis Dunn. Does not want to test Ty's taunt. Nice. Commits to the full crouch. Harry low once again. Break on the grab. Yeah. 25 seconds left to go. The jab. Ooh, what a jab check. And the hatch to follow up. Nice. Ty, what a weird punish. He's too keeping yeah, this one close you. as you like it. Crouch down forward four and again. Just trying to cash out for the damage. Take what you can get. Back one. Second hit tight. The second hit counter hit launches have really been paying dividends for him today. <laughs> but mine you. also Genghis's options when he's in full crouch like that. Mm. Down four, two, four. Willing to peel off the wall here. Get the wall again. Tied basically. Three is the full string. One plus oh. two. Not broken. That might and be the it. wall. That's it. Oh. oh my god, I'm sorry. It wasn't me this time. But oh, nice. the wrap around. Clean walk to his backside. Going all the way around the left. Finds the save. Made the close out. Interesting there from Gangston. Just didn't do the wall cover right away. Looking for a three wall spot or something. Don't know why, but the 4 3 gets the count hit. Gonna put Gangston in the corner right now. And again, he doesn't want to test the tech. He does right there. Nice, blocking the down back through, gets the launch, sideways looming though, there it is. Oh, and the threes for his trouble. Nice, the back second hit. one and the follow up. He wanted a clean wall spot for the rage drive there, does not work out. Down back three again, running four, three. Four, four, three. Ooh, safe mid to close out, Genghis done now on set point. One round away from eliminating Ty from the tournament. Counter hit down to immediately at round start. Ex and the wall. Exactly. How and you the three. Oh, this is huge damage right now. Ty in trouble. Another oh. wall splat. Ty in rage. He needs to make something happen. He needs to make it happen right now. The Flamingo kick. Do it again. Hatchet down for two, four, three. Looking for a counter hit launcher. Needs something. Genghis Don't just standing there. Menacingly just standing there. Raise drive Plus spent. frames. Three plus four gets nothing. He's nope. so lame with it. Down forward one and again, sidestep down for one. Genghis Don takes it 2 0 over Ty. Handshake respect between the two. And again, we've got a huge shout out for Ty for this performance, man. Again, everyone, if you've made it this far, you're pretty good at Tekken. Made it this yeah, far. I mean, yeah, that's, uh, that's understandable. <laughs> that's, you're pretty good at Tekken. Genghis Don, of course, like we, we said earlier, right? He had that high impact performance at Evolution this, this year. Then. What, traveled to Puerto Rico, maybe had a disappointing performance from there. Summer Jam, I want to say he got second place, if I'm not mistaken, or he got he made top eight at least. Yeah. But he's had, at the events that he goes to, he's had good performances. Yeah. It's just it was kind of difficult for him to try to get that point differential with only going to such a yeah. you know, small number of events. Again, only really keeping it within America. You're keeping it within, not really traveling traveling out as well. And I, get, I get the same for a lot of these American players that didn't make it to qualify. That place like Joey went to Greece, traveled out, went to Asia. Anakin, same as well, coming to coming to versus fighting as well, you know, traveling uh, uh, quite a bit. But yeah, a bit unfortunate in that performance. But congratulations. I mean, shout out to Ty. Had a great run, just couldn't make it all the way. I mean, that when it gets infested, that's something to walk home, hold your head up high. That's a nice, you know, little little feather in your cap right there. But again, for some players, that's not enough. You want the win. Yeah. And a win over a top player is nice, but... You Especially know. in this event when you get this far, I know like that's probably not the result that he was hoping for, yeah. right? But you got to be able to feel good about what you showed here today. But coming up next, man, winner's final. Joe Crush going up against AK from the Philippines. And loser semifinal waiting on the other side. BDX versus Genghis Don. See, here's the thing. Those the, those top two players in the winner's side, I, I, I could, I could kind of see that. I see Joe Crush. I see AK. But, you know, VDX and Genghis Don. I mean, again, no disrespect to the players. Not really expecting you know, those guys to get this far. And again, this is the final Tekken 7 event this weekend, yeah. the Tekken World Tour. And when we're done with Tekken 7, what comes after that, Mojino Bomb? I mean, you already know, bro. And if you don't, for some reason, make sure you go to your uh, local, local store and put in your pre-order for this Tekken 8 Bandai Namco Store exclusive premium collector's edition available January 26, 2024. Pre-order now. Once again, you get not only the premium box with the special face-off steelbook with the full game and the ultimate edition content and bonuses with the eight glossy 
Zesty collectible cards. Not only the arcade token, not only the Leroy Smith metal ring with the velvet patch, but the exclusive electrified figurine of Jin, 25 centimeters tall. I said patch, I meant pouch, you know what I mean. <laughs> I can't read, bro. No, you, <laughs> you were going crazy down. Like, I didn't, didn't want to say anything, you But, know? yeah, big ups to Bandai Namco for putting together this premium collector's edition box. Make sure you guys head on over to the store and put your pre-orders in. It's coming sooner than you think, guys. But, look, we need you guys to stay plugged in so you guys already know. I read, I, we read enough of y'all's bad opinions, right? Make yourself useful. <laughs> Plug in the TekkenWorldTour.com. Make sure you guys follow at Tekken, at BNE Esports on Twitter, BNE Esports on YouTube. Follow the socials to keep up with the newest Tekken content. Follow the Twitter for more excitement on the Tekken World Tour and updates. And with that, we'll be taking a short break, but please do not go anywhere. We saw the bracket. We saw the games coming up. Take a yo, go, go get something to drink. Go it's get almost that time, boy. It's almost that time. Top four action when we return. Lightning <laughs> and shit. <laughs> Poof, I'm back. I had a little snackaroo, but nothing major. Trying to get me to pre-order without including any rip uh, action, huh? Where's rip? Hmm? It ain't gonna happen. No rip, no buy. They think they could just fire rip and spaghetti rip and then just get us to pre-order, huh? And Jin only comes with one wing, huh? Hmm. Zero. Oh, three minutes and 47 seconds. Thanks, unblockable unemployment. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Purple yeah, Raven. Thank Appreciate you guys tuning in. It's been a long one. We're going on eight hours? What is this, a J-O-B? What the hell? And would someone explain where the fuck the rib fan art is, dude? Where's the rib fan art? This is bullshit. You know, I've never liked you, Rip. <laughs> uh, hey. Rolling for Rip! The guy's name was Rolling for Rip. Hey, you got it! He got it! Nice. Jackpot. That's lucky. Rolling for Rip. Cool. Nice. Nice, beautiful black screen. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> Draw more art. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thanks, one Simus. I'm still feeling pretty good. But man, the whole day got erased. Commentate Tekken 8. Are you talking about me? I don't even like Tekken 8. You want me to commentate it? <laughs> Come on, man. What else you want me to do? A flip? I mean, I could try. But it's gonna be tough. Thanks, Scrub McGrub. Appreciate you.
Baby girl. <laughs> what you mean, baby girl? Um, I'm probably just gonna eat a sandwich for dinner. I have fresh croissants, and I like them fresh. What about you? Chat room's been getting very exotic. It's probably because it's Friday. You guys are going out or some shit? Special occasion. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Rick, though, what's up, dude? Tell me about the articulate toys right now. Mama Mia. Thanks, one more spin, and Rick's the kid. I can't tell if he's drunk. And just realize, uh, man, it's okay to just he's drunk. Never mind. Their lives because of this game. I can tell. No shit. His eyes aren't even looking straight. They're crooked. <laughs> yeah, he's drunk. I like the shirt too. I mentioned it earlier. It's a nice shirt. Thanks, Cab J. You think these guys are reading that shit? Every word? God damn, that's tough. <laughs> Thank you. They are? Damn, that's tough. Oh, he is definitely lit up, dude. <laughs> definitely. He's drunk. You were playing, uh, playing soccer games, all this other, <laughs> other kind of stuff. And you're like, oh, oh let, me, let me mess around with this. Let me, let me see, what this see what this horror character's about. But yeah, no, real, real stuff, though. Like, uh, you know, I've, I've been, I've played. He's not yelling enough? A lot of other game, fighting games, too, uh, over the so years. you're telling me he's sober? Uh, Is that of, what you're saying? You know, this, this weird kind of uh, hindsight 2020 kind of thing, where you look at the current version, you're like, yeah. I don't know uh, about that. This game yeah, soccer. That's what we call it here. Because we have a different no thing game, called football. No game in the modern era has had the incredible story and developments that this game had. Like I said, I said earlier with Tasty Steve, lightning in a bottle. There are companies that try to make this. This game just had it. Someone just got shot. What'd you do? Oh, capital letters are uh, punishable by death. Unnecessary use of capital letters. Going to jail. USA, Philippines, AK. Joe Crush versus AK. That could be good. And Feedy X versus Genghis Don is going to be great. Feedy X, who knows what he's going to do. He's, it's very difficult to predict what kind of pop-off will occur with this guy. He's very unpredictable with the pop-offs. <clears throat> and he could hurt himself, too. We could have a torn ACL situation here. But we'll have to wait. <coughs> uh, thanks, Generation. Thanks, Griffith and Rusty. I hope you're all having a wonderful 2024 so far. It's been quite nice for me. Nice and smooth. Have you ever eaten Zap's voodoo chips? It doesn't sound familiar. Can't say I have. But of course, Joe Crush also has to, like you said, the threat of peace as well. Are we gonna see? Uh, uh, are we gonna see some uh, some true love making? You know what I'm saying? Hey, we good. Yeah, the only thing that's been bad about 2024 is no rip. Yeah, it all sucks. You know what? It's kind of. But at least it saved me 70 bucks. You, you'll see it, especially when it comes to Shaheen and the, the way he plays around Slide and Hopkins. He has, he's very insistent on forcing that mix-up and 
forces you to deal with one option, and he seals it. You just kind of save the other one for when it. Thanks. Not unlike a joke. No rip, no buy. Hey, thanks, short guy from Red Bull. Thank you. They're little guys over there. Thank you. Oh, this is gonna hurt. He didn't even finish the combo and it fucking hurt. Wow. Wow. He was too far to even combo off of it. That got crazy. Nice combo. Good break. It's gonna hurt. Big damage. Holy shit. Damn, man. Juan and Anonymous. Thanks, dude. I really do appreciate it, man. This guy is no joke. He's been around for ages and he never gives up. Thanks, Juan and Anonymous. The guy owns the entire salsa industry. He's a salsa prince. Thanks, man. Appreciate all the gifted subs and the hundred bucks and all the generosity. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Jolly Art. And it's not someone. Thank you. And Professor Cocone and Hustler Buster and Meta World Geese and Castrell. Big thanks again, Anonymous. Happy New Year. What does he do from here? Oh, isn't that safe? That thing he did at the end, that low kick? I thought that move was completely safe. Down four is safe, but not down back four? Really? Cool. Didn't know that. Oh my god. Joe Crush, dude. And this is fucked up because if Joe wins the next game, then he's gonna have to adapt to Akuma because AK is probably gonna switch to Akuma, right? No rip, no buy. No buy. I'm already looking forward to my sandwich. What kind of sandwich? Um, nothing crazy. Just lost my job. Need a lock, buff amigo. Hey, good luck. Thanks, Rip. We've been fighting for you this whole time. Michael Murray even showed up. We told him. Justice for Rip. Yeah. We love Rip around here. Really though, I mean, all RPing as Rip fans aside, Rip is way better because you, we can talk shit about him, dude. You know? You gotta be, you gotta be nice to these randos. 
I don't know them, man. I can't talk shit about them. You know? So we're not even technically even acting when we say that we want rip. He really is actually like preferred because of all the random insults. <coughs> Excuse me. I can tell I've been talking too much today. I have a word limit every day and I've gone way past it today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> These guys are going to take it a final round, of course. Woohoo! Between the cheeks. Thanks, Pyro Lee, doing a sick combo. I'm not going to click that link, but thanks. And thanks, J Stone. Excuse me. Ever had Campanelli? Thank you. I don't know. It doesn't ring a bell. I don't know what that is. Is it a made-up thing or is it something delicious? Sounds like it could be delicious. Any word that has that kind of structure and is a food, it's probably good. It's pasta and Italian. There you go. Simple as that. I profiled that word. You know that? I profiled that word as delicious without knowing anything about it, just because of the way it sounded. It sounded delicious, and you're, I was right. I have a, I have an instinct. Red Delicious Assholes? They banned that guy. There used to be a guy named Red Delicious Assholes. They banned him off Twitch. Pepperoni pizza with garlic infused chili honey? Yeah, dude. Um, hot honey with pepperoni pizza is magic. And delicious. I would have liked him to maybe stick out with the Shaheen a bit more, but again, if you're confident with the Jack, I don't see why not. But Joe Crush, he beat Super for me yesterday. One of the best Akumas, probably the best Akuma in the West. Oh, yeah, that was a. Uh, what? Just like I said, he's going to have to yeah, yeah. quickly Super adapt to Akuma. Akuma. He knows how to play against this character, but again, the player, the pilot, also. Makes a big difference in AK's. Malainer. What's his approach there? And that two jab is very important. Something people say about this matchup. Jack is decent against Kuma because of that two jab. Ooh, got him the duck. I think it's a hundred percent on those. Just has a read on AK. Yeah, obviously slower attack, but it, the positioning at which it hits. <sighs> nice block. Make it hurt. Nice combo. Dump truck on that shoulder. AK showing focus and backdash. You got the hit, didn't let it rip. He didn't land on the wall. Maybe he was expecting him to jump and just had a huge call out. Players with the red dress. Woo! That was crazy. I'm probably just gonna have an apple and a croissant and some cheese and some of those delicious peppers that I like so much. I'm gonna finish that whole jar, dude. It's crazy. They're so good. I just got the jar yesterday. I like those hot ass peppers. They're really spicy. They're called uh, wax peppers, and you can get them extra hot. They're like, uh, I don't know. It's weird how so many people think they're banana peppers. It's fucking annoying. I don't get that. It's really weird. Even the guys who are fucking shopping. Dude, it's not a banana pepper. Who the fuck even said anything about banana peppers? They're pepper bigots. All peppers look alike, huh? It's not the shit they have at Subway. You see what I mean? Look at this dumbass. Subway's calls them that. First of all, Grand's Paws Guitars. You'd put an extra S at the end of Subway. Second of all, the bullshit that they have there is banana peppers. That's what they have, banana peppers. I'm not talking about that. 
I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about wax peppers. It's not the same. Usually, Mexican places and places owned by Mexicans have these peppers there. That's like a Mexican thing. Like, you know, they also have them at In-N-Out. Chopped chilies, you know, you get chilies at In-N-Out. Those are called wax peppers. Habit has those peppers. Yeah, it's a burger thing and like some Mexican places have it. Dude, how much damage is this shit taking? Lo Perry, ho ho, nice. Hey, thanks, the judge. Thank you. Turn up the in-game volume. Are you out of your mind? Fuck you. Run for your life and you'll live, perhaps. Turn around and start running. This guy's in the wrong place. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, Matt420 and Lizio. Thanks. You didn't have to shoot that guy. I was just messing around with him. It's just as loud as I want it to be, though. <clears throat> I'm not trying to listen to them. <laughs> I don't know if you know that. Unless it's Rip, I'd turn it up if it were Rip. You know, Joe Crush has looked near infallible today. But if anyone can do it, it's AK with the Akuma. I'm surprised he didn't even think about the pool, bro. Damn, people are getting it's shot it's left and right, dude. Stage for the Akuma. Four, two, Four, two again. No respect. Das boot. no respect. I said I would be nice, but the mods, I don't care about what they do. I don't know what their New Year's resolutions are. And for the most part, I'd say I have been pretty damn nice. Even that last guy. I mean, you know. What's the big deal? It was a pretty friendly threat. <laughs> Just a friendly threat. Now here's the thing. The longer this set goes on, I want to I want to pay attention to that wall situation. He's gonna build meter. Is he gonna be able to spend it? Yes, he does into the rage. No, drops it and the DP. Nice DP. These guys are supposed to be pros, huh? What is going on in the chat room, dude? That kind of error right there in that situation. Especially when you know you can't just talk shit about an entire country like it's the World Cup, dude. I wish I wish that was the case. Tekken is not quite on that level where it allows you to talk that kind of shit. You can't just be like, "Oh yeah, fuck this whole country." Just because we're watching a Tekken match. That flies in soccer, though. That's why I love soccer. When it's time for soccer, dude, you can say, fuck this entire country. This whole country can go to hell. <laughs> Assholes Uzbekistan. You know? Thank you. Oh, he's alive! Oh, boy. <clears throat> That's the only good thing about soccer. I mean, why else would you watch that boring-ass sport? The biggest field of all. This is such a big-ass field, dude. You have ten teams on that field. Shit's huge. Boring-ass game. It's better than golf? Yeah, but dude, how are you even going to talk about golf as a sport? That's barely a sport. That's not a sport. I mean, I think esports are more sports than golf. I mean, Yipes tore his ACL playing Marvel. <laughs> you know? Holy shit, is he style on him? He's not, right? That was an accident. Whoa. Uh oh, he dropped it. He dropped it. Did it work? No. 
Weird. What a weird ass match. Simple. Nice game, nice game. Good game, good game. Are you excited for Tekken 8? I feel like that's a trick question. Not falling for that one. It's th that's gonna be tough. How about you? Are you? Why'd you shoot that guy? How do you not realize that you sound like a fucking asshole? This guy tagged me and said, if Wang was in Tekken 8, would you be excited about Tekken 8? Do, are you that, like, unaware? Typing that comment and tagging me in it and then hitting enter? Does someone need to tell you? How old are you? May, hey, this guy could be seven year, years old. Hey, are you a seven-year-old dumbass or are you a fully grown adult dumb fuck? Which one is it? It's got to be one of the two. Even a fucking seven-year-old wouldn't ask something so stupid. If Chewy Chewbacca was in Tekken 8, you know, and you were stuck on a desert island with Noel Brown and Triforce, uh, would you be excited about Tekken 8? Shut the fuck up, dude, stupid bitch. Anyway, Happy New Year. You know? It would be cool if Wang was in that game, though. Beats. Thanks, Tekken Late. Thanks, FDX at the Golden Corral. That's weird. What does he have to do with Golden Corral? He's not even that fat. He does have a pronounced jawline, though. I gotta give him that. Very chiseled. I haven't been to Golden Corral. Maybe I should like, you know, that might be a fun thing to do. Go to Golden Corral with you. Take you there. That would be weird though. Because I mean, how am I supposed to serve myself at a buffet with uh, you there? I've never been there. And I likely won't go there. Just FYI. I don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, thanks, Menu. And thanks, Willie the Wino. <laughs> yeah, I've heard terrible things about it. Uh, when I asked Spooky about it, he said, It fucking sucks, Aris. <laughs> That's what he said. Fucking sucks, Aris. So I figured it's got to be pretty bad. I mean, I'll root for FDX. Started my first SSF character because of you. It's pretty fun, right? I like SSF. Someone sent me a link to a build on Twitter. I didn't look at it, but thanks. If any of you have cool solo self found build recommendations, let me know. I'm in the market and I'm interested. Thanks. Something fun. I play on pad though. Thanks, Spooky got pissed. Pissed off Spooky is one of the most 
Like, it's such a wonderful gift to everyone he's not pissed at. Pissed off Spooky is a gift to everyone except for Arturo. <laughs> That's like the one guy that it's not a good thing for. But everyone else, it's a wonderful gift. Spooky's really funny when he's pissed. Yeah, watching Spooky yell at Arturo was one of my favorite things that my my eyes have ever witnessed. Watching Spooky yell at Arturo, Spooky was looking up, straight up, and threatening him. I'll fucking kill you. It was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life. Arturo's like twice his height. He's saying shit like that. I'll fucking kill you, Art. It was so funny, dude. It was like... I, I sounded just like this motherfucker, dude. I'm in the background holding my ribs. I'm holding my ribs looking at Spooky yelling at Arturo Sanchez. That shit was awesome. So funny. Good times. Thanks, Chair Sniffer. Those guys are all really fun. Spooky, Art, and Min. Those guys are fun to hang out with. I like fun, you know? I like to laugh. Oh my god, the water bottle bouncing. <laughs> that shit was tight. <laughs> that shit was so funny, dude. Forgot about that. And Arturo's reflexes are like so whack, dude. That shit just <laughs> didn't even fucking flinch. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hilarious, dude. 1080p. Man, if FDX doesn't win, it's less likely that we'll get a pop off. That's frustrating. Ooh, spooky damn threw that shit out. Probably the closest thing to Golden Corral that I've ever eaten is likely... I don't even know. Is it worse than Hometown Buffet? I don't even think they have those anymore, but I've had it before. CC's Pizza, I've never had it, but it looks like... 0 out of 10. Golden Corral is better than Hometown? It's worse? Damn... Get your story straight. I thought hometown sucked the cocky. CC's pizza is all right. Damn. They're both bad. That's what I suspect. I think all of these are probably trash. Do you think any of these places are better or worse than like a Chinese buffet. You know those Chinese buffets that are just like endless like like Chinese food? They're worse than Chinese buffets? Wow. All right. All right, I'm getting an idea of what we're dealing with. Oh, you're saying they're better? See, you know what's fucked up? You guys don't agree. I think it's pretty clear that you guys don't agree. I think some of you guys, it depends on the shape of your mouth. Some of you guys think that shit's hella gourmet and the other ones don't like dicks. 
Mm, I guess I can't. I can't comment. I haven't tried. Chinese buffet crab legs. Chinese buffets can be pretty good. It really depends. They can be. I like their pizza most of the time. Chinese buffet pizza. That shit is fucking solid. It's not Chinese pizza. It's pizza at a Chinese place. Don't be a bigot. Double question mark using bitch. Brazilian buffet is fucking amazing. If you mean Brazilian barbecue, when you put the thing and it tells them to bring you meat, that is... If it's a good quality place... Yeah. Excuse me. S tier. If it's good quality, dude, that's like potentially some of the best food. Man, you guys are getting me all, you know. I'm hungry. Hey, thanks. MK Tom Brady is 46 years old. And Ray Z. Someone just got shot. What'd you do? <coughs> Why'd that guy get shot? The mods in here are definitely not trying to be nicer this year. Just as a warning to you. They're a bad influence on me. I mean, I wouldn't say bad. The thing is, if one of the mods don't like you, then I'm not going to like you. So you pretty much got to stay on their good side too. And they're bitches. So you're out of luck. Oh, here it comes! Are you kidding? What the? He went off the camera? What was that? Did he fall? What was that? He, he smacked the ground? Is he gonna do the double dick jerk again? That wasn't. That's another Feedy X classic. That's called passion, dude. I think people root for him just to see what kind of weird shit he does when he wins. Passion fruit is delicious, dude. So good. Favorite flavor of Doritos is Flamin' Hot, my man. Flamin' Hot Doritos. I think VDX kind of ran over Ishii a little bit. I think I think it's not. I'm not. I'm not crazy. To say I do like peaches, but I really dislike the inconsistent nature of the fruit. In fact, I fucking hate that about peaches and mangoes. Peaches and mangoes have the capability of being the most delicious shit you've ever eaten in your life, but it's random and you can't profile the fruit. That's what I hate about that. If you look at an apple, you can profile that shit. You can taste it before you bite into it. But a peach, it could look like the most delicious thing you've ever seen and taste like shit. Same with the mango. That's what I don't like about uh, those fruits. Can't profile them. I'm not trying to fucking gamble with fruit, dude. You know? Georgia peaches were insane. That lady that I told you guys about that was nice to me and gave me all the free food... She gave me that peach cobbler when I was in Georgia. Oh my god, dude. That peach cobbler made of Georgia peaches. I couldn't believe it. I was pissed. T thinking about that now pisses me off how good it was. 
someone who everyone to pick his brain at some point. Why do you do these things? Uh, but it's the other PB guy. It, it, it's AK sitting in losers final. First big action. The winner gets. Never had peaches in your entire life. What the fuck, dude? Where do you live? You're like a. You're seven years old. I remember talking to you a while ago. How do you not have peaches? Regardless of matchup, regardless of results, he's playing a team game. You know what I mean? <laughs> like this is my point character. That's my. Uh, I have Akuma as my battery. Akuma will always be Bianca. By the way, and I do wonder why that is. You know? Oh my goodness! Can't hit trade up. You should open your own restaurant. I'll do that if I get fired, like Rip. That's one of my ideas. The chat room recently gave me a bunch of good ideas on what I'll do if I ever go out of business as a streamer. You know? Voice actor. Uh, hair model. Uh, what was the other shit you came up with? Used car salesman? Come on, you gotta do a little bit better than that. I like to aim high, man. Why aim low? I was a used car salesman when I was in my early 20s. Maybe I could voice some characters in, like, Genshin Impact. You can't even touch my feet. Bagoosh! My super goes off. You know? Oh, say it ain't so, FDX. Wow, that was a crazy wall carry. Nice block. Uh, thanks, Jore and Chipotle bracket. Is that what they call the losers bracket now? The stomach ache bracket. Wow, almost. Pressure. Whoa. Damn. That sword shit seems pretty whack. When he throws it. Damn, the mix-ups. Oh, no. He's getting mixed up. Good break. Not good. FDX is in big trouble and he's dead. Hey, your hero needs you, dude. Yeah, the main man's waiting in grand finals. He's pretty much going to uh, dominate the winner here. Take that last spot in the tournament tomorrow. I can't like I can't say say that enough. It's just like AK's the kind of player when he's smiling, when he's feeling good, yeah. he's so dangerous. But if you know, when it I've seen him compete in Korea, right? I remember him losing to someone who didn't think he was to. Lose to. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, he thanks, Palm Trees. And all the rest of you too. But thanks guys. I really do appreciate it a lot. It's truly a miracle that I don't I do this for a job. It's really absurd. It is. And it will never stop being absurd. So thanks. I never got used to that shit. 
did no. not have people that said that about them, but I think AK for sure had a, a lot of AK people. AK was, especially among top players as well. You know, AK was the name. It's a Friday player. miracle, yep. That's true. DDX, I don't think I had Thanks, bros. Yeah, I mean, I've heard a lot of AK, I heard a lot of people. Even you annoying Tekken fans. I appreciate you too. Gotta make fun of something. Back to Thundaga in mid-range like this. Testing it with the twin blade. Do it again, Thundaga. DDX as well. Back to it. <laughs> Entertainer is a job. Yeah, that's what it says on my taxes, but you know, whatever. I tell my tax man secretary that I'm really, really good at video games. She thinks I'm so good, dude. It's pretty funny. <laughs> tell her I'm really good. That's the thing, man. Sometimes people just like to stay. Yeah. Side step two, back to back counter hits two rounds faster than you like. BDX potentially about to get on the board here. He might. He just run the mids. The mids this game. Mm, back two again. All right, there's a slide. AK trying to stop the bleeding. AK trying to snap some kind of mix up game up close like that. Oh, nice. Sneak throw, no break from, AK, uh, from BDX. Running orbital. Jeez, blocking everything. He's struggling a little. Excuse me. Do any of your family members watch your stream? I don't know. I don't really think about it or care. Probably though. I pretty much just assume this is something that I mentally decided a long time ago. I think that I always just assume that everyone on earth is watching my streams because over time I found out things like, oh yeah, Snoop Dogg's watched your stream or like Shaq or like some random ass people, you know, that are like real people out there. So if random people like that are going to be around... Jeff Keeley fucking messaged me, you know, like, dude, if ran these random ass motherfuckers are going to be around, that means everyone on earth is watching the stream. You might as well just assume, you know, what difference does it make? I don't care. Thanks. Who knows? The rage is coming, though. The rage is on the way. He doesn't want to get pulled. What did Jeff say? He just wanted some shit about the Game Awards and, like, uh, you know, like, stream-related stuff. But I was thinking, like, oh, fuck. This guy must have heard me call him a sex robot. That sexually pleases Kojima. Whatever, man. You know? You know, you're normally expecting to play the Akuma right now. Just but a joke, still dude. Shaheen is still trouble. He can definitely do it. I mean, the way he took those first two rounds of that game. <laughs> Thank you. Definitely could have had that. Uh, thanks, Dongle. We'll see, actually. And Trusty Panda and Locomotive. Because AK still has that as an option, you know? The Akuma in his back pocket. I mean, that is a real nuclear weapon to go to <laughs> if I've ever seen one, right? He's not had to push the button yet. <laughs> BDX. We've seen what happens when he's back against the wall. He slaps it. That's what happens. Yeah. I'm not invited to his next birthday? I hope that's not true. <coughs> I'm already looking forward to it. I, I doubt that. Me and Jeff go way back. He's cool. So do me and Kojima. Me and Kojima are homies, dude. God bless all the Noctis players. Bless them. I'll see all the Noctis players in hell from heaven. But here we go. What's going down right here, right now? BDX Noctis going up against AK Shaheen. And again, I mean BDX not to be counted out. Hey, what are you looking at? New DKC next year, smile. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Man, AK beat him in winners, right? I think FDX 
hasn't lost to he lost to AK right and that's it Wow, nice sidestep. He would have to make a pretty sizable comeback, and he's going to have to deal with a Akuma character switch if he succeeds. So, this is like a pretty tall order for FDX. It can be done, though. Trust me, it can be done. Mm -mm. Last chance this round. What are you doing? Oh my god, what a. What a. Oh my god. You call these pros, dude? These guys are pros? Uh, thanks. AK got this easy? Damn. Could be true. He's up two games though, man. He could fall asleep and still win later. That's a big fucking lead. Looks like a Marauder match. The fact that you know what a Marauder match all in itself is the problem. What the fuck is a Marauder match and what does that look like? Looks like a Marauder match. I don't know what that would look like. But it makes you sound like a bitch. It happens on a pirate ship? A marauder match? Boy. Earlier someone said that I'll laugh at anything because I'm so tired. See? I told you that's not true. Remember? I told you. These guys, their jokes are trash, dude. I told you. FDX back in this? That was a 10 out of 10 joke? Holy moly. I better turn this shit off. Seems like, hey, shouldn't you ESLs be going to bed by now? Tekken fan sense of humor. Off the charts. No, I'm going to stream all weekend. <coughs> I'm definitely going to watch Sunday. Probably as much as they show. But tomorrow, I haven't decided how much of it I'm going to stream. We'll see. It's 4 a.m. for you? Weird. Where are you from? Greetings from America. Someone just got shot. Thank you. What happened? The guy who got shot said mods. Hey, get shot, you stupid bitch. Trying to ask for help from the mods. Get shot, loser. <laughs> that was tight. Mods? Yes. That was pretty good. I'll give it up. Thanks, Sherwin, and thanks, Hamet. Hey, best of bond. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm doing great. Happy New Year, dude. I'm chilling. Deli mustard. Fucking, what else could a girl ask for? Everything's good. Thankfully. I'm lucky to be alive. Breathing air. The Akuma. Man, dude. Malainer and Katoner. Thanks, Rhino. Akumer. Minus 
same string and there's PBX go. And now the library. And he's still winning. Woo, run! Run! Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me with one second left, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh man. That was ugly. That was butt ugly. Oh no. That shit stops the clock. Nice panic jab. Damn, that sucked. Uh oh. Drop? Oh my god, dude. FDX is getting fucked up. This is his last chance. Okay. I think that Noctis versus Akuma is a good match for Noctis. Is that true? I've heard that. I think it is. I've heard that. But it's not like I have details. I don't know. I've just heard that. Oh, nice. Man, this is his last chance. Man, the jabs. It's getting ugly. Last chance. Woo, man. Oh, the second hit whiff, dude. That was brutal. Damn, Hurricane. That was crazy. That was brutal because he did a whiff punish with that 2-2, the double sword. The first one hit. Second hit is a natural combo. But he was so far away, even though it was a natural combo, the second hit was out of range. And he got whiff punished for that. That's what you get for playing that weak shit. That character sucks. They should have never put that weak ass character in. Do you remember when they announced Noctis and Harada whispered in my ear, I'm sorry? Why would he apologize for some shit that's not whack? He knows. He knows that shit's whack. Why the fuck would you apologize unless you knew that shit was whack? He knew. So this is it. Joe Crush versus AK. And it's a double jeopardy. Double jep. Joe Crush winning this would be pretty sick, but AK winning would be crazy. And I'm surprised that the lack of, like, Japanese and Korean and Pakistani, right? What's that about? Did not that many enter? If this down jab hits or is blocked, it should be the round. The only thing AK could have done to win there was rage up. AK is from the Philippines. He's been around for a long time. He was good when he was like 12. Just those tiny, tiny margins. Again, look at He's probably 25 or 24 or something now. Just wasting time. With one second that Phoenix could not have done anything, AK played that brilliantly. But he has to keep up that level because the guy he has sitting against him. Joe Crush, the only person to beat him in tournament session. Over the, the yen is in the dumps? What do you mean? How many yen do you get with a buck? I think even for AK, per I dollar. Lock in right here right now and, and establish something because this is going to be a hard set to win twice. From and loser side like this, the question is... Any advice on going to Japan? It's my 2024 goal. Are you asking for what to do when you're in Japan? Or are you asking on, like, how do I get to Japan? Damn, the chat room does not like you, dude. Have you noticed that? 
Did you notice the rest of the people in here? They don't like you? Did you notice? That's fucking crazy. They're very hostile towards you specifically. I haven't seen that very often. They don't like you. And I, I tend to get influenced by them. So I got bad news, man. I'm just messing around. You're fine. It's cool. Uh, but your question fucking sucks. Good luck with Japan. Yeah, I got some pretty big 2024 resolutions. I'm going to make them all happen. Guaranteed. How big? 40 before 40 and 0 and 20. That's how, how big. The winner of this gets the spot, yeah. I think it's going to be Joe Crush. Damn, man, the chat is extra hostile. I think it's because of the whole rip getting fired thing, man. Everyone's been on edge today. There's been a lot of hostility today. The chat room's frustrated. We are all really hardcore, diehard rip fans here, you know? And, uh, yeah, it's... Oh, Mexican Akuma technique, eh? That was pretty good. I like that. Thanks for streaming. My pleasure. I had a really good time. You know me, dude. I don't do something I don't want to do, right? So there's no way I would stream for 8 hours and 45 minutes unless I enjoyed it. That's the kind of shit that when I say it, I'm sure you know that it's true. Unlike when someone tells you to buy an action figure because it has articulation points. That, a little bit suspicious, but... Uh, when I tell you that I had fun, you can guarantee I did. Because why the fuck else would I watch this? <laughs> I love talking shit. Talking shit and watching live events, it's like my favorite thing. That's why car chases are so fun. Easy to talk shit, live event. You don't know what's going to happen. Is it really a three day weekend? What's the holiday? Thanks, which way to Japan? And I cause karma and Diesel Plus and Sonic. And thanks, Cruises, and Matt Wu, and Viltra, and Rhino. Thanks, guys. MLK Day? When? Did it pass? MYK Day? They have a day for that? Uh, nice. Excuse me. Cool. It gets hard to remember holidays when you call every day Friday and don't look at the calendar. Yeah, 
<laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Hermit Butter. Thanks for liking my stream, muchachos. That's going to be weird. Maybe I should go out or something after this. It's kind of weird how today just disappeared. It really feels like I've only been streaming for like two or three hours. I guess I could tell in my voice. My voice gets strained when I talk too much. What drinks do you like? Water. For the last like month and a half or maybe, yeah, month and a half or two months, I haven't, nothing that's been liquid has gone in my mouth that wasn't water. Literally. Just water. 100%. It's easier than I thought. <laughs> Thank you. And that's good for AK. He did pick the stage. Oh no, does he commit to the 2 1? Is he going to pay for that while standing 2 spends the meter? A bit and breaks, breaks the floor. Final floor. No you don't like milk? Man, people are so stupid. <laughs> did I fucking say that? I like milk. I like milk. Who the fuck said anything about that? Just like the guy. Who keeps questioning his doctor? Wait a minute, doc, hold on. Do, can I eat this kind of meat? What do you mean I got gout? Are you saying I can't eat salami? Hold on, hold on, wait a minute, doc. What about pepperoni? Yeah, I like milk. I like milk. I like all that shit. I like soda. It doesn't mean I'm gonna drink it. I've had enough fucking soda for two lifetimes. I'm gonna drink water now. <clears throat> you aren't cheating using flavor packs? No, dude. That's not even something that I've ever been into. Flavor packs are trash. Just water. I'm not a water hater. I haven't been for a while. I used to be when I was younger. But it's fine. If you think about how valuable it is for your overall, like, operation, you value it more. Lemon and water is fine, too, yeah. I like it. Zero calorie crystal light. Man, that shit is going to give you some of the weirdest problems you've ever heard of. You remember that Revenge of the Colon game where we were going through that guy's asshole and it had like fingers in it and shit? That's what's going to happen to you if you drink shit like that. Crystal Light. You're going to get some weird shit in your asshole. I wouldn't, I would, I'm, I know some of you like diet soda too. I wouldn't do that if I were you, but I'm not you and that's the beauty of life, but I wouldn't do that. Diet soda also wouldn't do it, but to each their own. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, drink potions. Appreciate it, man. Thanks Pacific Jazz and thanks Big Yoshi. I think the best strat to convince yourself to drink water is to train your mouth to not want anything but water. You're doing yourself a disservice by having like sugar-free stuff you're doing yourself a disservice you have to train your mouth so it gets used to it and it no longer wants sweets for me i really feel like um it's an avalanche or whatever like a snowball effect if you even have a little bit even if you have like a sip of soda or a little bit of juice 
you just fucking lose it, Lou Ferrigno, and you fucking turn green, and you just, uh, your jeans tear, and you're like, oh, let me get some soda, you know, that shit happens, it's true, you get hype, and you want more soda, that shit's no good, man, I'm telling you, you don't want that shit. Just water. <clears throat> I used to drink miscellaneous other shit, like occasionally a smoothie or maybe a coffee or tea or maybe a five hour or some shit, like a Red Bull, whatever. But like I said, last two months, that shit has been 100% water. And it's going to be that way. And I've been trying to have uh, 2.5 liters a day. I think I've only fucked up like maybe one or two days. Liters low. <laughs> what do you guys use over there? Lira? 2.5 Lira. Of water. That's Italian for liter, right? These guys are gonna take this shit to final round two. They don't eat? Are you doing that on purpose or is that a typo? Don't eat? Damn, the back dashing. That was nice. He ducked. Thanks, Braxton and Saichishiro. Appreciate you guys tuning in for the long haul. Excuse me. Who are you talking to, dude? I don't even know who he's talking to. Some guy just tagged some other guy in the chat and said, Shut up, bitch. <laughs> what did he do? That was pretty good. I'll give it up. Hey, why'd you shoot that guy? That guy was right. He was right, and I don't even know what he was, who he was talking to. Why'd he get shot? He's the only guy who's made any sense today in the chat. Shut up, bitch. He was right. They both got shot? Damn, are you guys going to make them suck each other's dicks outside? That's the only way you'll be able to get back in here. You guys got to suck each other's dicks in front of everybody. Hurry up. Thanks. Uh, whatever his name is, Makaki. And thanks, Eagle Eyed Panda. Get started, amigos. <laughs> Get started, amigos. We don't have all day. Good choice. Man, Joe Crush is getting clobbered. Yeah, he has to win two sets. It's going to go to last final game. Yeah, he's been picking Akuma all day. He's been starting Shaheen and then switching to Akuma if he loses. Yes, he does. And there is, 
second round this time. Nice combo. Man, the two jab persisted with it from Joe Crush. Excellent response. You can see one wow. reason why he, why he's been insisted on those two jabs the whole time, just in case that AK wants to do something like that. But AK able to steal the round back. Ooh, he immediately punished that, yeah. Minus four the punish was punish not very good. AK. And with again, more counter hits. This round, this is reset point right now for AK. Eyes on the meter, K. Wiz. Oh, almost. Forward, forward, forward. There it is. AK standing there doing nothing, just waiting. Button for check. Three. The confidence. What the fuck? Look at this throw. damage. Oh my god, that took so much. And AK, if he converts this correctly, I think this is going to be reset. I'm not calling it because I've done a few curses today. You should say. Dead. There it is. Reset. 3-1 to AK. Bracket reset, huh? Reset, Marjan Obama. With momentum on AK's side. Wow. Now for Joe Crush. This is unexplored territory. It's not, yeah. it's not a lot unexplored. Of it the whole time, hey, bro. <laughs> yeah, send me those POBs, man. If you guys got good solo self found build recommendations, I might fire up a new run. Reset in grand finals. And again, for AK, you got it. Break time, Shalashaska. You think I should take a break now? The last LCQ that you competed I'm tempted to say I'm, I'll miss it, but I doubt that will be true. I already did Bone Chatter. I'm already, I already finished with that build. I did that twice. What's your favorite ailment? I'm open-minded to anything that will be fun on Pat, and it's good for our solo cell found. So again, there was a lot of second place. Evo Japan. I think was it 2018? Se oh, wait, 2019, second Nine. place to. Wait, which year was it? Which year did Arslan win? That was the no, I've already done SRS. It's no fun. No, no uh, minions. That's probably the only stipulation. I only do minions like once every two years. Yeah, I've tried EA Ballista. It's all right. Strength stack, original sin, Reeve. Did you not hear about the uh, solo self found part? Penance brand is something other people suggested. Penance brand of dissipation. Hey, write that down, will you? So later when I go, what's the what's that build? Penance brand of dissipation. Gorge Arrow, someone else recommended that. I really don't like bows, and plus, I know enough about them to want to try something new. I've never done a build with, like, wands, and I kind of don't know how to craft wands, so maybe a wand build would be good or something like that. I don't like bows. Penance Brand will get nerfed next league. Yeah, I'll look into it. Kinetic Bulk. Bolt. Bulk of Fragmentation. Uh, I'll look into him. I'll shop around. Kinetic bulk. Detonate dead? I have not tried that. It never interested me that much, but I might try it. I'm not opposed. Isn't it a minion build, though? Again, complete new set. It's the strongest in SSF. Gets that spot. Joe Crush's eyes are wide open, though, man. These two floats have already been an impact and made an impact on the match. DD rules I'm playing now. I don't want to have minions, though. Getting in, getting the damage. DD might be annoying on pad. That's what people said about Bone Shatter, and I love it. It really depends. You know what doesn't work on pad is shit like withering step or like like you know how uh you have to put enduring cry i think it is is it enduring cry ancestral cry the one for bone shatter you have to put that on left click right if you're on pc and it'll automatically go off 
but on pad you have to brush it so every time you run into an enemy instead of just pushing square which is my bone shatter button i do x to square so the brush command means every time i engage with an enemy i just got done doing ancestral cry uh, so it's fine that's how i played it but it really depends on why it's not good on pad <coughs> it's very doable Hmm. Damn, nice combo. I was unfortunate there for Dirt Brush. I thought that he should so on point with it the whole whole day. AK close to building another meter as well. Down four. Get your sweep. Not biting on the paint with the with the focus attack. Dirt Brush taking some risk right there, but not the one that jumped over swap positions. Traded places. I mean just harassing the legs right now, AK. Punish it. Nice punish. Unfortunate. Hollow Palm? Isn't that just a leveling strap? That took AK such a crazy amount of damage. Game one. Exactly how you want to start this reset bracket. Okay, you let AK get the last one. That's okay. And now, what's the stage selection for AK? Normally, it's been. Damn, he's leaning. Leaning and pouting. He's thinking about big dinner. Dude, so am I. I'm fucking hungry, man. It's so weird. I mean, I, I feel like a little bit tired of talking, but overall, it's really peculiar that I've been streaming for nine fucking hours straight doesn't feel right hey thanks for tuning in bros awfully nice of you to like my stream good idea water is always good for you thank you I'll definitely stream tomorrow as well, but I don't know what time, and I don't know for how long. I think the longest stream I've ever done is 12 hours or so, though I can't remember when it was. Oh my god, fucking random ass down two uppercut. With seven seconds, with a pixel and a dream, steals the first round. Nice. Dock on the second. Yeah, missed the whip punish, but with great dock. In yeah. His reward here, this corner situation. Oh my, he fell for that shit? Damn, dude. <laughs> Excuse me. Out the earth. Oh my god. Woo! Punish. Uh oh. Oh. Punish that motherfucker. Nice. Ooh. That was close. Whip punish. What a whip punish. Break the doors down. He kept the screw as well. Break the balcony. Nah, he wants to keep it. He wants to keep it. No break. Oh! That's big. He 
can, he might be able to take him all the way. Oh, not quite. That would have been crazy if it was a full combo. Kill. Dude, this guy's defense! What the fuck was that? This guy's defense is crazy. He brocked, he brocked everything. Robster Craw. He brocked uh, every move. Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, the pop off finish? The crowd? Is that Say Jam right there? <laughs> is that Say Jam? Or is that Evil Say Jam? <coughs> I think that's Evil Say Jam. His nose is too small. Which nose? The one in his pants that grows when he tells a lie? <laughs> the nose in his pants grows when he tells a lie? God. This can't be reality. One day I'm just going to wake up and I'm going to get out of bed and I'm going to have to just put on some kind of outfit and go to work. I'm waiting for that day. I'm just going to like, wow, that was a weird dream. I was a streamer for 12 years. Better get to work. Weird dream. That's what's at stake here, right? He's got to be able to. Man. Thanks, bedtime. And 2% MILF. Thanks, guys. He's thinking hard about this. And again, he has every right to take his time. Because this one decision could decide the entirety of tomorrow. Big Joe Cross playing Sora now. Yo, I'm gonna take it back to the beginning of what we said at the top eight. I, I pulled his match off the off the screen last night. He looked at me, he's like, bro, you really gonna pull me off stream? I was, I was like, I'm Joe, I'm sorry. My man said I wanna be on. I'm, I'm trying to make <laughs> shots. I mean, he's made up. For all Break the time, Shalashaska. This is the last he's game, right? Flipping between the characters. I heard the character he locked in. It's still the Akuma. Let's go, Joe is ringing Yo, they are talking right to now. you. Damn. They're doing dances in the background. Stomp. They're crumping or whatever. Thank you. Butt hash. Jack Miller, Fox 30 News. Thanks for the luck, Bob. Just dropped a 10 pound BM. <laughs> 10 pound BM? Jesus. Nice luck. Holy fucking shit. It's a beautiful baby boy. Congratulations. <laughs> 10 pounds. Jesus Christ. Trying to swing out. Down four one one. Back to Jack Hammer. Always here he comes. He just threw him with the lows. Jump. Okay, no. Mess is up the back. What drops the combo though? Joe Crush. Was that a big mistake? How big? Thanks, side reel. Thanks, raging Herschel and Kajukazi. Thanks for the resub. Thanks, Fofo and bedtime. Thanks, everybody. Don't know what I'd do without you. Probably just work at Chipotle. This is gonna hurt. 
<laughs> That's cheap. Woo! Damn, he's just trying to throw his ass. Dude, wow. Look at that. Damn. He almost did get the lead from that seed planter. That was close. Slowly rallying back. Joe Crush looks like he's kind of falling asleep all of a sudden. Weird combo. Oh my god. Just gonna unload all that meter. Thanks, side reel. Who you... Who you would think to win the tournament? Question mark. Hmm. Hmm. Greetings from America. How are you? He believes this is his spot. I mean, it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> looks Thank like you. The only person to take him to talk today has been AK. He finally got the win. Thanks for the long stream. My pleasure. Who you would you know, think too, will win the tournament? Gets him in the same battlefield right at Caper's 8. It's a similar story. Hey, what's, what's this guy Joe Crush doing here? Are you guys really going to bring him? Everybody, all his teammates had faith in him, and I mean, he, 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 he clutched out. He clutched out. It showed why. I mean, he was definitely the guy to bring in again. It's so great to see a new school American player get this far. <laughs> Thank you. So what does he do from this point on? I mean, again. I don't know if AK will make a comeback. He might. Joe Crush, if he falls asleep at the wheel and lets it happen, AK is the type of player that'll do it. He never gives up, that's for sure. It's an endurance test. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, normalcy. <laughs> Who's hungrier, Joe? <laughs> Possible. Seems like it could be true. You know, the floor break, the animation taking time, and two seconds left, one second, there's absolutely nothing. I mean, that could have done it, but he didn't have the time. <laughs> Thank you. Not looking good. I mean, he still has to win two whole games, though. Is Joe that sleepy? Whoa, back turn? This fucking robot costume is so annoying. You can't tell the front from the back. Stupid looking costumes, man. Dude, AK is bringing that shit back. Is that guaranteed? He said it wasn't a punish. Maybe he was ducking? That could have been bad. Ooh, that could have been bad too. Low parry. AK could make a lot happen with two bars. Low parry. This could be big. He may not get the kill. He didn't get the kill. Oh, no. It's not over. Mid. What a... Oh, my. What the fuck, dude? 
every time it comes down to the wire and there's clutch, like these so-called pros pull out the dumbest fucking shit I've ever seen in my life. Every time. Ooh. Punish. That punish stunk. There you go, out of boy. Kick his fucking ass back in the wall. Beautiful. Okay, so now Joe Crush. This is so pivotal. If he doesn't seal the deal here, he's really caught shooting himself in the foot, really. He needs to seal it. Don't let him survive through this round, or he could come all the way back. In fact, he should... Yeah, he needs to do a shitload of damage before that meter gets full. Okay, this is big, right here. Massive. Oh, the wall saved AK. Last hit. Here comes... Low parry. Nice games. Nice games. Damn, there's... Damn. Damn. That's a lot of bald dudes fucking rubbing torsos with each other. I don't know about that. Damn! Damn! <laughs> Legs wrapped around him and shit, dude! Reunited with the love of his life in slow motion right there, dude. That was some shit. Oh, look at Fee! Wants both arms. If he wants the double underhook suplex on his ass, let me get both under here. Two underhooks. Man, these Tekken players get real, you know, they're like family, dude. Family that likes to have in a coast. Oh, he got beads. He didn't even have to show his titties. Nice! Free beads, no titties? That's a deal. He's a contestant. He won a spot in the finals. Congratulations. That's awesome. Winning this tournament is not easy to do. Every one of these guys really, really wanted to win. Every one of them did. And Joe Crush turned every one of them into a loser. It's true. Nice work, Joe. Everyone's a loser but you. Until tomorrow. Enjoy it while it lasts. They got casinos and... Are you serious? No one told me that. I didn't know they have casinos there. Man, I didn't know that. That might have been a different story. I didn't know. Gambling is legal in New Orleans? You can tell that Obama is drunk because the way his headphones are coming down the front. Yeah, you see that? You see when the headphones start coming down to the front? That's how you know he's drunk. The shit's coming off his face. You know he's drunk. Joe Crush. Congrats. They have to be on the water so they're riverboat casinos. Aha! Got you. That makes sense because it's probably not legal. They have to be on the water so that it's not like on the mainland so that it's legal. That makes sense. <coughs> you can't leave until you lose all your money. I don't even gamble, dude. I just like to watch people I know lose money. I don't gamble. Not with money. Nice job, Joe Crush. Congratulations. That was a challenge. And uh, he did good. Thanks, Ash and Ray and Owl Pellet. Thanks, Pill and Wrong Priority. 
and chicken tandies and thanks happy feet and double o bang and normalcy luke flywalker and lilo monrolo thanks side reel excuse me that was crazy nine hours and 20 minutes how did i do that i don't even feel bad i feel great i might go out <laughs> i've never felt better nice work nine hours and 20 minutes that's unheard of it's tomorrow so that's a good time for me to explain that shit to you this weekend is the actual finals tomorrow is going to be a round robin phase then they're going to start the bracket and take it all the way down to top eight then top eight is on sunday i'll definitely watch top eight on sunday tomorrow i likely will skip the round robin but actually i may watch the whole thing it really depends if i don't have anything to do that's more fun than that then i'll just fucking turn this shit on and maybe i'll order some lunch and and we'll hang out again and make fun of stuff if anything if today was a like an indicator of anything as long as you guys bring the heat which you always do then it should be easy no problem so that's the plan i'll be back tomorrow i'm not sure what time but it could be it depends it really is hard to say it, it's going to depend on how i'm feeling but i'll be back tomorrow anyway nice job everybody who was involved uh still i'm pretty pissed off about rip i'll be honest a diehard rip fan like myself one who has loved rip from the beginning man i'm gonna laugh about this shit so many times just randomly laughing about pretending like we like rip because he got fired i'm pissed no rip no buy all right i'm rip's number one fan and i always have been rip equals simply likable all right likable rip and bronson both two of the most likable holy shit man my my mouth hurts just even saying such lies lying through the skin of my teeth or whatever thanks kaioken bob and juice man listen chat room i appreciate all of you thanks for liking my stream it was fun i'll see you guys tomorrow in the sewer all right bring five bucks and wear something easy to take off all right thank you again enjoy the rest of your evening see ya lightning and shit